Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloveds. I will you all are blissed. I will everything is everything on your side of the planet. Everything is everything on minds. Today is a very powerful number. We saw this in the very beginning of the year. It is 22222, two, 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 and it is Tuesday. So happy Tuesday to each and every one of you beautiful souls. If any of you happen to be new, welcome to the Soul Tribe, to the Soul Family. Uh, my name is Q. I, too, am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively, and, and I am an empath, and I'm also clairaudience. So during this reading, you will hear me reference songs, maybe the lyrics in the song, name of the song, name of the artist, and even the timestamp. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what may be coming out in the tarot cards. Uh, my spiel here on this channel is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Uh, Shay, uh, my readings are timeless. So regardless of it being Tuesday, which is 11, 22, 2022, uh, Whenever you find this reading, whenever this video has found you, whether it be six months from now, a year from now, three years from now, that means it was divine timing and in divine order that you have done so. So welcome, beloved. Uh, I will that the reading resonates. I will that my energy vibes with yours. And if you find that it does, don't be shy. Hit that like button. Get the video into the algorithms so others such as yourselves, like yourselves, can discover the reading and receive the downloads that are being transmitted here today, beloved. Um, you already know what it is to all of you who are returning. Love is love is love. I send infinite love and light to each and every one of you. I want to send a happy belated solar return to anyone that has celebrated their special days. I will that it was especially special for you and that you got everything that you had dreamed and hoped of. Um, this is going to be a deep dive uh, because we have not done a reading in a while. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I'm not pumping out videos just for the sake of. I'm pumping it out when I feel spirit has something to say, beloveds. There's going to be some changes in 2023. I'm going to start incorporating conversations. I'm going to start building with y'all, doing more lives. I'm going to start implementing new readings um, for other signs. Uh, what came to me, the way that it came to me was, of course, everybody's not going to get a deep dive because I would never have any time to myself. My readings really run between an hour 30 to two hours, um, sometimes two plus. Um, so those are my deep dive readings. And um, that's typically for my Scorpios, even for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine collective energy that I do. Those readings will... They'll, they'll scale between those that that time frame. Um, but in this upcoming year, 2023, there's going to be some changes. Uh, this is a seven universal year. Seven is my favorite number. So I definitely feel like spirit wants me to really start tapping in and providing some messages for all of the signs. So what I will do is I will do a... Um, Every month, it will, it will, not even every month, uh, whenever I upload, I will have, uh, of course, a Scorpio reading. And instead of the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, I'll do uh, three signs in addition to the Scorpio. And those will not be deep dives. Those will just be like more than likely like 30 minutes to an hour tops. Um, and I mean, it may be a deep dive to you, to me. Like I said, two hours is about a deep dive. So uh, just the way that I read, the way that I, you know, channel the messages through the music and the cards and whatever may be coming through intuitively. So I will be doing that. So it will rotate um, one week. It may be Scorpio at Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, um, Capricorn. Next week, it may be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces and you know another sign your aries or something like that so it will it will rotate you know uh each month there will be 12 readings in it you know done for all of the signs scorpio will always get a reading done whenever i do it but i'm going to make it more um of an effort on my behalf to push out these readings um quicker um not so much quicker but 
how do I want to say like not so much quicker but just in a more um, I guess just more consistent basis uh, you know as I've said like I don't like pushing out readings when my energy is off or when I feel like you know there's a disconnect uh, but in this new year I do want to uh, be mindful to provide uh, some of that 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 foresight for all signs not just Scorpios. I get a lot of questions like, why don't you do other signs? And can you do, you know, such and such reading this week? And I feel, you know, I don't want to say I feel bad because I don't ever feel bad, but I do feel like, okay, you know, enough people have asked to the point where I feel like, okay, let me, let me show love. Let me rotate the love. Ashe. So I digress with that message. Um, this is going to be a deep dive, as I said. This is going to be a general reading. We're going to see what's coming in, going out, going on with our beautiful Scorpios. And as I've already mentioned before, in all of my readings, I am now implementing a sound bath just to help ground your energy, get you into equilibrium so that you may be able to receive these messages that are being downloaded and transmitted to you, Ashe. So I will be using my chime today to do that beautiful sound bath for you all. And then we shall proceed with the read, beloveds. So let's go ahead and do that. Just give me one moment. Let me go get my instrument because I did not get it. All right, I'm back. Had to give him a little chime. So let's go ahead. You know how I like to do. I like to do the three inhales through the nose, three exhales through the mouth. And um, then we shall proceed with the read, Ashe. So let's go ahead. Do a nice inhale. Inhale. Again, inhale. And then exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Shay. So let's go ahead and do a nice little bang. I'm going to bang probably three times. Three is a very magical number, so we'll bang three times. Ashe. I want to give you one more because I messed up that first one. delve in beloved it's been a little minute and we're gonna see what's coming in going out going on before we go any further I was just informed that I have not paid homage to the beautiful ancestors so let's do some house cleaning first and I do call upon the element of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe I ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light for my beautiful scorpio collective i will that my beautiful baba ogun baba obatala mama oya blesses me with the intuition 
and the discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mo it be. Ashe, 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 beautiful souls. So let's see what we have playing right now. Let's see what this is. All right, so this is salt and pepper, and this is um called get up, get up everybody. So get up everybody. All right, so salt and pepper. So when I'm getting all, first and foremost is maybe some of you all are just like kind of hold up in the crib. Like I'm getting hermit mode with get up, everybody get up. Maybe you're getting together, gathering. Um, that's another way to saying you're getting together with your family is, you know, oh, we about to get up. We about to get together, you know, gather together. Maybe for the, the holy days, you all are um, connecting with your family and you're going to break bread together. Um, but I do feel like there's a, a gathering. Everybody's getting together. Everybody's coming together, um, you know, to break bread. And it could be because, you know, we're hitting these, uh, you know, the, the, the holy days, as I said, you know, and we are coming together with our family and our friends. And we are, you know, really coming, especially at this, this time, this junction, um, you know, it could be probably a long period in between the last time you may have seen some of these individuals. So it'll be really good to catch up with some of these folks. Um, I do feel like I, I keep getting this instant, like there's been a long um, time frame that you haven't seen some of these family members or some of these friends, like there's been some distance or there's been no communication or you just maybe you just haven't had a chance to visit these individuals because with the salt and pepper, I just get like, I keep seeing someone with salt and pepper hair. So maybe some of you all, you know, have salt and pepper hair. Maybe some of y'all rocking like that asymmetrical hairstyle that they used to rock back in the days. Um, but I just get a sense of like, you know, it's like spirit is telling me like there's been a long period of time since you've seen some of these people or since you've spoken to some of these people. Um, and so that's why, you know, this gathering, this getting together, everybody coming together is going to be special. I feel like it's going to be extra special. Um, I also feel like because today is such a powerful day, um, it breaks down to the number uh, 12 which breaks down to three because it is 11, 22, uh, 2002. And so it's, it's really interesting how, you know, when you do that math, it breaks down to three. Three is a really powerful number. As I said, it's really a powerful number, which is associated with the ascended masters. So you could be like manifesting some sort of dream or maybe you've manifested this dinner or manifested seeing someone or maybe someone is trying to manifest seeing you um but there's something manifesting even maybe there could have been um situation where the family could have been um at odds in disagreement there could have been some some internal fighting beefing but it's like everyone is coming together to piece things out, you know, almost to be like the bigger person saying, you know what, we family, uh, we got to let, you know, bygones be bygones and move forward. Uh, so I do feel like, you know, with that, that, you know, maybe it's, it's just a, a, a realization that, you know, time waits for no one. Uh, and we all, you know, are, you know, we're here until it's our time, you know, until our time is up. And no one knows when that is. So maybe this gathering, it, it, I'm feeling like Spirit is saying, this could be your very last time seeing some of these people. You know, um, maybe someone may transition. You never know. That's why it's, it's never good to hold on to grudges and to, to, to be angry at folks and resentful and remorseful and scornful because you never know uh, when someone's time is going to be up. You know, so I feel like Spirit is almost saying like, be appreciative if someone has invited you uh, to dinner. Perhaps you should take them up on that offer. Um, if some of you have been like stubborn um, in not wanting to show up at a dinner, if you've been invited, I feel like Spirit is saying that it's an opportunity 
perhaps for you know a situation to be resolved but of course trust your own intuition now if you feel like your life is being threatened or if there's a circumstance that could put you in a life-threatening situation then of course you don't show up but I feel like if it's just you're amongst family and these are people that you love people that you value uh, and they're offering you know an extension of an olive branch by even you know inviting you uh, perhaps spirit is saying you know go you know, go go and break bread. Go be around your family because you need it. You know, so if some of you have been estranged from your family or estranged from loved ones, uh, friends, even um, perhaps spirit is saying, you know, maybe there's an a window of opportunity to um, perhaps reconcile. But that's entirely up to you. You have free will, so do with your will as you will. Dashe. So let's proceed with the read. I like that one. That was off the top. That was off the top of the dome. All right. And you can use it if you want. All right. So we got Karen Willa. And this is I adore you. So someone adores you. And I'm, and the wheel is sticking out to me. So this could be somebody that is destined to be in your life. This could be someone who's named Karen. Um, or someone whose name is um i heard cameron also when i when i said karen um i heard cam ren so that's a masculine's name or it could just be someone with you know a c in their name or a w even cw christopher williams christopher walker um charles craig um i heard carmichael um even, you know, but this is what I'm picking up. So someone adores you. Uh, there's someone that you adore or someone that adores you. Uh, I feel also that this is someone I definitely get a sense of like this is a destiny type of love or someone that's destined to be in your life. Maybe the wheel is turning around in you all's favor uh, to come back into union because I was getting a sense of like distance. A long period of time has passed since you've last spoke to someone. Um, if it's not breaking bread with family, like I said, it could be friends. Someone could return. Um, it's 444 on the clock. I don't know if you could see that. So 444, that's angels, ancestors saying, yeah, that's exactly who it is. So there's someone that feels like you're an empress. If you're a divine feminine, even if you're a divine masculine, that four is associated with the, the emperor. Um, it also speaks to love. That's the heart chakra. So someone adores you. Someone loves you dearly. On the bottom of the deck, we have spider, and this says community and web weaving. So this is definitely someone you're familiar with. I feel like you have angels, ancestors that may support this union. They may be conspiring behind the scenes because I was getting with the wheeler in Karen Wheeler's name. I was getting the wheel of fortune. So I feel like maybe something is coming full circle. Uh, especially with the number 444, I feel like the angels are um, almost like they're approving, not even almost, they're like approving uh, some sort of union as if it's like ordained, it's preordained, it's predestined is what I'm getting. It's a destiny type of love. On the split, I see zombie control. So somebody could have been dealing with um, stubbornness as I was picking up. Because when you're when you're stubborn, it's like you're trying to control a situation that is absolutely out of your control. So instead of going with the flow, you resist, and the resistance isn't doing anything but causing delays. And that's really why I was picking up. I feel like the wheel of fortune because there could have been some sort of delay or something blocking, and it could have been someone's mental. I feel like angels and ancestors. The community is very indicative of like your support system. So even those that you may not be able to see with your visual, you know, visually, um, they're still there spiritually, energetically, and they are, you know, perhaps helping someone break free from, you know, this need to control, um, coming out of a dark place even. Um, this is someone who suffered like a painful loss or a death, and, you know, maybe because of the control issues that they may have had, or they could have been under someone's control, maybe someone uh, was in a karmic relationship and it could have been very codependent. They could have been with a controlling partner, a narcissist, someone who gaslit them. Uh, but I feel like with this community and web weaving, um, that spirit has been really there to help guide this person out of whatever this web 
you know, whomever they were with was weaving. So that's very interesting. That's just what I'm getting intuitively. So let's tap in. Uh, Shay. So let's see what's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Let me tap in. Message of love and a message of light for my beautiful divine Scorpios. I have a message of love and light. I'm using the Halloween deck first and then we'll move into the numerology deck. And then, um, you know, whatever else I so choose. But I just want to utilize the, the Halloween in homage to our scorpion energy you know that dark energy that dark matter baby so on the bottom oh man I'm, I'm shuffling and I'm being nosy but something told me to look over and what it was was the skull of flowers and it says creating through the ashes and just as I said someone went through some sort of painful ending because I was getting with the graveyard there was a depth so there was a major transformation some sort of change that shifted the foundation that someone stood on but it also caused some sort of enlightening you know a moment of enlightenment or an awakening of sorts and it's also helped them to heal um they've, they've grown from this experience it's helped them them to become stronger even and also help them to tap into their divinity uh as that divine feminine or divine masculine because remember i was picking up with that 444, four, four, which breaks down to 12, that breaks down to 3, which is what today is, is a breakdown of 3. Um, it's about the divinity. It's about the, div and it was just 2121 21 also while I was speaking. So that 2121 21 is 3, 3, that's 6. So this is someone from your past, someone that adores you, obviously, someone that loves you. I feel like someone had to grow up. I feel like someone had to heal. I feel like someone went through some sort of karmic lesson and it helped them to see something from a completely different vantage point. You know, I feel like this is someone with creating through the ashes. What we have here next to it on the split is ancestors. And it says the love and legacy of our DNA. So this is telling me that there is someone obviously that spirit angels ancestors are aligning you with and i feel like someone also is awakening to the fact that this connection is in, is is definitely predestined this is someone you have seeds planted seeds or roots there's some familiarity or some similarity in likeness or like-mindedness but i do feel like with this creating um that is what the divine masculine and divine feminine does that's the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is to create birth new ideas birth new ways of thinking so someone could be in a very studious energy mastering their craft sharpening their sword someone could be going back to school someone could be studying under a master teacher a pastor a reiki healer a reiki master maybe even under a spiritual practitioner maybe under a hoodoo priest or under someone who's into um santa santa media uh, santaria someone who's into um witchcraft like someone studying under um some some elder i'm getting like an elder is is uh you know kind of like um it's like you're seeking that counsel from an elder and it's like someone is is awakening you know to perhaps the the uh the sacredness of a connection and so we have rick james and Smokey Robinson, Ebony Eyes. And so with Rick James, somebody's name could be Rick James Robinson, Smokey. I definitely feel like if some of you all have brown eyes, someone loves your eyes. So I got a card that slipped away. So that's going to be like a bonus message. So let's see what the bonus message is. And it's Ancestors. So I was picking up on like you having like a support system from your angels, your ancestors, your guides. And this is really um, confirming what I was feeling about the sacredness of a connection that you have. Because it says the love and legacy of our DNA. And with ebony eyes, I feel like, you know, someone is very much like potentially they could be watching you from a distance. This is someone that could uh, really just be listening to their intuition or using discernment. Um, but I feel that there's history. I feel someone does see you as someone that could be like a maternal or paternal figure, someone that's very um, grounded, someone that's very earthy, a healer, a shaman. 
Um, but this is a very powerful card of uh, spiritual protection even. Um, and just guidance. I feel like your angels and ancestors are kind of aligning you, as I was saying. Because it says the love and legacy of our DNA. And so some of you all could be, you know, channeling in on your um, skills, your gifts, your talents. Maybe you're discovering what your purpose is, what your life path is, what your life's mission is. Uh, so you could be really honing in on some of these gifts. And we have ebony eyes playing and then we got the owl with the eyes. So I do feel someone's watching you from a distance and as I was saying I don't feel this communication which is why I was picking up with that salt and pepper I kept seeing somebody like it was like the spirit universe the way my mind's eye was seeing it was like someone was getting older like time was just dropping off the calendar so more time is just you know it, it, even though we know time is fluid but in this case scenario it's just like there's been no communication it's been dropped it's been dry, but someone's watching you. And I feel like they're coming in to speak to you, perhaps to say that they love you, perhaps to confess that they want to be with you because it says wise seeing, wise action. So someone's learned something from that ending, that painful ending from that change they've experienced with that death. Uh, they've transformed mentally, emotionally. Something shifted within them. Even uh, with that 444, I was picking up like the heart chakra. So someone may have had to grow. You know, maybe they were stunted emotionally. Maybe they didn't speak your love language. Maybe this is someone that was very um, closed off, blocked, and stubborn. But it's like now they see something. There's like an epiphany, an aha moment. And I feel like it's because their support system, they aim angels you know their protective uh their protection the protection around them which are you know your spirit team your 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 you know your your um your spirit team your guides your deities your your spiritual parents they're 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 protecting you because there's a greater purpose a bigger purpose a great a, a, a path a path that you are meant to to um journey and I feel like, you know, with this wise seeing, wise action, and we're about to pull the card for someone, for the person that you're attracting to you, um, I feel like this is someone who is very learned. Um, they've, they've matured. They've learned something here. And, and with what they've learned, they will take action. Because there was a point in time where they were, you know, almost perhaps um, blocking out the truth. Uh, perhaps ignoring the truth, this self-deception. Um, maybe there was a lot of, you know, internal work that was necessary because I see with this moon, I just feel like, you know, there was there was some, some work, some inner works um, that need to be done. Uh, but I also feel like, you know, this person has become wiser, you know, so it's like there's maturation here. And um, so let's proceed with the read. Let's see what we get. So who is this person, our beautiful... Scorpios are attracting to them. I have a message of love and light. Who is this person? No, actually, we're pulling a card because this was a bonus. So we're going to pull a card for um, the overall energy. So the ancestors are here overseeing, watching, and protecting you in this union. I feel it's a spiritual connection. I feel it's a spiritual partnership union i was definitely picking up on like a destiny type of love before we even touch the cards so let's tap in so all of your cards flew on the floor bottom of the deck didn't i just say the word protection so this is definitely a protected union sacred union someone's name could be jack and we have let it fall and this is by um David Harness. All right. So let it fall. Interesting. So someone's name could be David. And, and what's sticking out to me is mighty real. So what's what I'm getting is perhaps in the past, um, this person, you may have perceived this person as being someone that was not reciprocating or unavailable emotionally for you. So you put your guard up. Um, someone realizes how real you are. Look at the card that just full, flew out and I just expounded on this. So this is the overall energy. This person here, Skull of Flowers. It says, creating through the ashes. So this is what this person has come to realize. That you are their divine counterpart. 
with this tree the tree represents the family tree so they could see themselves co-creating with you because this says it says creating through the ashes so this is like someone wanting to re you know wanting to spark or reconcile or resuscitate a connection that has been what may be perceived as destroyed they want to rebuild it's like they want to reconnect they want to heal this connection flowers represent growth so this person has grown this person has matured I feel like they've also been trusting and listening to their intuition where in the past they were just being stubborn just for the sake of you know and it was because they were emotionally disconnected you know they weren't as emotionally mature so this is someone who's been growing and I feel like it's because there is some sort of preordained or predestined or some sacred connection here and so this is the overall energy and I feel strongly that your angels your ancestors your spirit team maybe even someone that is very near and dear to your heart I was picking up salt and pepper like someone um, that I was picking up on like someone who could have transitioned uh, so maybe this is someone who's already transitioned and they could be on the in the spirit realm assisting you with getting back into union or back into a partnership with someone that they feel is meant for you or with someone that is meant for you but I feel like there's a lot of conspiring behind the scenes so the person you're attracting it says vampire emotional intelligence I can't make this sh ished up didn't I just say this person was stunted emotionally and this is why they had to learn they had to grow and with mighty real they know you are very real and so they could be a little intimidated they could be a little apprehensive and coming towards you because they see you as super guarded they also know you're very intuitive they know you're psychic they know you can see through them they know this because this is where they are with emotional intelligence maybe they have come to this place where now they are more emotionally intelligent and now they understand you on a more um, deeper you know on a deeper level and this vampire what does the vampire drink blood and what is this here DNA that's that's in your DNA so this is someone that definitely feels that you are meant for them this is something they've come to this grand epiphany like I said it's like an awakening you know and they're trusting their intuition they could be sending you transmissions messages telepathically intuitively even visiting you in your dreams this person also could have been you know what you may have deemed like a energy vampire in the past someone that came around and take and I just saw 3232 when I said that and so that's 5-5 five, five, and that's 10. So this is definitely someone who had to learn some sort of karmic lesson or someone that could have taught you a karmic lesson about self-love, self-care. Because the four, the heart chakra keeps showing up in my mind's eye. So it was all about like, you know, self-love. You know, you got to love you before you can love anybody else. Love is an inside job. You can't love anybody else unless you love yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's just period. Period, point blank. And I feel like a lot of you all, you know, many of you who have had to learn some sort of karmic lessons, it all, it really related to self-love boundaries. It related to self-respect, you know. And I feel like a lot of you really came to this conclusion like, okay, if you're not, you know, an asset, then you're a liability to me. And so you may have cut people off. You may have purged because Scorpios are good. Like once you see somebody for who they are and once you realize like they are not, um, they don't have your best interests at heart, it's nothing for you to cut them off. It's like chop, chop, suey. Like bye. <laughs> like they will never, like it's like they never existed. And that's the thing people say is, oh, they're vindictive and they're cold. And it's like, nah, that's just a way to protect our energy. Because it's like if we're giving you everything, the benefit of the doubt, and we're going above and beyond, and we're there for you, we riding for you till the wheels fall off, we pull over on the side of the road, put some new ones on, and keep on moving, and then we find out that you're doing some old underhanded, backhanded, you know what I'm saying, leechy, parasitic, energy vampire-ish, then it's like it's 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 a rizzy rap. There's nothing more to to see here, you know. So maybe this is one of those scenarios where. You, you could have just cut somebody off because you felt like, you know, they was like, they was like, just kind of like wearing out they welcome with you. It was like they was playing you for boo-boo the fool or attempting to. 
And it was like you gave him chance after chance. And it was just like when you was done, you was done. And so now somebody had to go and learn something. They had to learn a little something. How they see you, how they feel about you is the black cat. And it says fortune meets opportunity. So what did I say about them seeing you as being very intuitive, very psychic? Cats are very intuitive. Look at those eyes. They feel like you see right through them. I literally said that. And look at this card. And this is something I feel also because a lot of people are intimidated by black cats because there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of these silly uh, um, superstitions and, and, and things like that that go on about black cats. And, and, and I don't believe in that. I own a black cat. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, it's just... It, they're no different than a white cat, a, 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 a tabby. They're no different than a, a brown cat. Like, they, stop it, you know? Black is a very powerful number, and a lot of people are intimidated by black, period. That's just what it is. But that is not, that does not directly relate to a black cat. You know, black cats are not symbolic of bad luck and all of these toxic you know, circumstances or terrible circumstances, I should say. But um, this black cat, they definitely see you as intuitive. And as we already know, cats are impervious to threat. So they know that you're super guarded, hence protection, you know, very guarded, very protective. But they also know you have a lot of protection around you. And look at the books the cat is, is sitting upon. And books always represent knowledge. But this is not just knowledge. This is the application of the knowledge you've obtained, which becomes wise dome. So not only do they see you as someone very intuitive, psychic, someone that can see through them, that could be very intimidating, but they also see you as someone that's very um, intelligent, very wise, someone very informed, experienced, very knowledgeable. Like it's like you, you, you know, when you speak, they listen, they, they take heed to what you have to say because they know that you have um experience you know they know that you have been you've been through some things so you have a lot to to add on about you know so this is this is how they perceive you what's hidden in the energy is we have scrying intuition so i mentioned someone now is listening to their intuition and this is because you know they've been growing and i'm saying they're growing because this is flower the skull of flowers so they've been growing and and growing that means that they are becoming more self-disciplined, more self-aware. They're becoming more self-respecting even. So they're not going to just be stubborn because, you know, that's their go-to response. Now they're going to be a little more mindful to look at things from a different scope, look at things from a different vantage point. You know, now they're going to step outside of themselves and see things from another person's perspective. But I feel like they're definitely trusting their intuition. There's absolutely like, you know, walking more in faith and not by sight. And we have um, Mary J. Blige, Rent Money, playing. So somebody's name could be Mary. And this is featuring Dave East. So Rent Money. So whoever this is, somebody could be, you know, getting their money together because we got mischief in play here for the outcome so when it comes what I'm getting is with rent money because I'm seeing all these jack-o'-lanterns so this is like protection because remember the jack-o'-lanterns card here says protection so obviously when I see that I see protection so someone that felt ghosted or someone you felt ghosted you I could never determine what this beast is. I don't know what that is. So I just call it a beast. But it looks like, you know, someone could have been, I feel, already in some sort of partnership. Because with rent money, they was in a domestic partnership because there's two people here. And this could be the reason why they ghosted you because they was already, they was already obligated to something where they were paying half on the rent, where they were paying half on the bills for what? For the house that they was co-existing, co, um, co-existing in with another person. So this is like a domestic partnership. And what's hidden is the intuition. So it says mischief and play. So someone could have been like creeping on the side. Someone could have been like playing, you know, and that's why they ghosted you because maybe someone was still, you know, they could have been, you know how there's still those, those, um, 
those cords are still attached to the karmics unless you truly sever it and walk away. Like you literally have to just end it, be done, don't look back and keep it pushing. And I feel like someone could have walked away, but there was never no cutting off of that person. There was always this feeling of obligation to that person. Even if someone lived in a different apartment or moved out of an apartment, they still felt this obligation. Maybe someone's in a relationship and they feel like they're a ghost in this relationship, like they're not being their authentic self and their intuition is telling them to leave. Maybe someone is very protective you know, of someone. Maybe they felt obligated, as I said, and now it's like they're starting to see things for what it truly is. You know, they're, they're playing themselves or maybe you felt played, but there was some mischief here, you know, and, and this is when the mischief comes. I feel like that's where, you know, that heartbreak, that's where that that death card, because remember, the graveyard was the control zombie. Someone could have been in, you know, a relationship where they felt like they didn't have a voice. They didn't have a say so. It was all about the money because we got Mary J. Blige and Dave East talking about rent money. So someone could have been in a relationship that was really controlling. It was all about, you know, the finances, all about the superficialities and the materialistic, you know, um, you know, um, circumstances. That's all this person cared about. Whoever this person is, whoever they were with, and that's what led to a lot of... Um, I feel like both of these people are honestly like they're they're like strangers to one another also. It's like they're both wearing a mask. No one's real in this relationship. I feel like, you know, the outcome is like someone is going to come to some sort of realization, especially with this scrying card here. I feel like somebody's finally going to listen to their intuition because it's like they're in something that is obviously it's like it's. It's like they're playing themselves and it's childish at the end of the day. Maybe they knew this person since they were children and that's where the obligation comes from. Maybe children are a factor. But I just get a strong sense of like these people are strangers. It was like they was just coexisting in this big ass house. Maybe they own a home together and that's another reason why they feel obligated because their name might be on the deed. Or maybe their name is just simply on the bills. And we have... Um, woman playing by John Lennon so there is a woman of significance so somebody's with another woman if this is a feminine this could be speaking to a woman listening to this reading or this could be speaking to the woman that a masculine could be dealing with and whoever that woman is I feel like there's a lot of trickery a lot of control she may use you know perhaps children as you know a, 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 a way to manipulate a situation or to make someone feel guilty because I kept feeling obligation and now I'm hearing the word guilt trip in my mind's eye but then I see these these lanterns protected so I do feel like maybe this this um, woman could be trying to protect this union and that's why with the control card and the graveyard maybe they, they could be doing anything even outside of this person's free will to protect this relationship protect this partnership even if this person doesn't want to be a part of it they're still doing things to be manipulative so they could be manipulating their energy they could be manipulating their free will their psychic they could be doing something to manipulate a situation here and it's a woman. And we have ready for the world tonight. And so the world card is, um, is what I'm hearing or what I'm seeing in my mind's eye with ready for the world. So I feel like this person that you are attracting to you, somebody is walking away from something. The world is really resonating and the world represents like self-mastery, learning from your lessons, something coming, you know, full circle and just like gaining a more deeper profound understanding of oneself and so someone may be ready to leave to move to separate you know to 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 graduate on to bigger and better you know they don't want to play themselves no more i keep hearing play yes you played yourself because this mischief and play here i keep hearing you played yourself by ice tea 
All right, so on the bottom of this deck, and I just saw 4431, which is 444 again. So there's a woman here. There's a wife. Somebody could be in a domestic relationship. But there's a woman. And I feel like somebody is ready to come towards you. 4444 four, four, four on the clock. That's 16. That's 7. So this is someone that's ready to take action. The 7 is, or is associated with the chariot. So this person could be traveling to see you. And so what he says is, oh, oh, girl, tonight. So maybe somebody may travel to see y'all. Maybe tonight y'all might hear from someone, you know. But maybe somebody's making a decision that they're going to do it. They're going to leave somebody or they're going to move away and move out of a home. So we have happy ending here on the bottom of the numerology deck. So there is a happy ending. Regardless of how this looks, how it's playing out, I feel like somebody is going towards what makes them happy. Leaving something where they feel like, you know, they're wearing a mask, the person they're with is wearing a mask. You know, this is unfulfilled. 45, 45, 9, 9. So this is a, the highest number of change. And this could be that person that could be like really um, conflicted mentally because I'm getting like the Nine of Swords. You know, so they could be really conflicted with how to, you know, strategize or mastermind this plan. You know, because it's like there's a lot, um, you know, that they may have tangled. You know, there's a lot of entanglements here. You know, when you live in this big old house, trust and believe your name is on half the bills in there, if not the majority. You know, and so there's really an element of like, you know, someone feels very obligated, obviously. But I do feel that someone is um has the support that they need um to trust their intuition and what they've been feeling because it's obvious that they've been feeling a certain type of way and we can see here with this mischief in play the fact that there's a ghost and then there's this beast i just feel like you know these two people are wearing a mask in this relationship and not being their authentic selves and then with that zombie card coming out control i feel like someone is really under someone else's control like they could be dealing with someone who wants things their way um they gotta be their way it ain't no other way but their way they're the the, the end all be all you know and someone's just tired of it you know ultimately i feel like you know with the ghost you know this is possibly a reason why this person could have been maybe absent when it came to you are not as available or it may seem like they didn't appreciate you but i feel like they absolutely do with this happy ending they're coming towards you you know they see you as a divine feminine or a divine masculine i feel like you bring a lot of joy and happiness and this is you know that purple inside of this symbol just shows you know um that they're trusting you know their intuition that purple is associated with the crown chakra you know and so they are having this epiphany or whatever this awakening is you know, it's like they're having that grand epiphany and they're learning, you know, maturing. Whether this is a feminine or masculine energy, it's it's applicable to both. You know, someone is maturing. Someone is becoming more emotionally intelligent. Someone is learning to put their guard down a little bit, be open, be vulnerable. So let's see what's going to split. So we have completion. There we have it. There goes the nine. Wrapping up a cycle, that's the highest number of change. So, you know, when someone leaves a situation, it's going to bring so much joy and happiness. They're really up in their head. See that that nine and then all of this purple. So this is really the, the, the focal point right now for them is the strategy out, the exit out. The three is really, you know, them imagining and envisioning the reuniting with you, the reconnecting with you. Um... Because remember, we saw that 12 earlier, the 444, four, four, and I was saying that was like the 12, the 3, and I was saying they want to reunite, reconnect, resuscitate the connection, um, reconcile. Uh, but this is also showing that as well, where this person is really looking um, at you as that empress or as that emperor, someone that really makes them smile, you know, that really is very stimulating mentally. Um, very emotionally stimulating even you may really just kind of speak their love language you know they they really enjoy their time with you and they can see themselves with you and this is why this happy ending is here it's like they think about it and they smile you know and so this is why they're you know saying okay it's time for me to wrap this up 
because they're trusting their intuition and their intuition is saying, you know what, it's time to leave this farce behind and go after what you feel is truly meant to be for you, truly meant for you. That empress, you know, if you're an emperor, you are, you are to be matched with an empress. If you are an empress, you are to be matched with an emperor. So let's tap in. Let's see what's coming and going out. Going on. We're going to clarify these messages. And we have um, Bobby Humphrey, and this is called Black and Blues. So I don't know if someone was in like um, an abusive relationship. I immediately heard domestic abuse. Maybe this is why someone is wearing masks. Maybe someone puts eye makeup on or puts blush and, and concealer on to um, hide black and blues. If someone was in a domestic relationship maybe you know there's a masculine that could be getting you know wop babaloo bopped you know and a lot of people don't think masculines are abused but that is the furthest thing from the truth you know um masculines get abused masculines stay longer than they need to um they you know and there's not just physical abuse there's also verbal abuse you know there's also mental abuse emotional abuse you know but with black and blue i do feel someone could be like definitely hiding the fact that they were in um a domestic um a domestic like a, a, a domestic abuse relationship and i hope that's not the case i'm getting the name bob bobby you know that's a mass that's like a unisex name bobby and if that is the case, I, I'm sending you love and power, you know, to to leave that situation behind you. Don't be stuck anywhere that is treating you less than what you deserve. You are a miracle and you deserve the best, period. When you think about all the millions of freaking cells that was racing, racing to hit that egg and you're the one that did it, there's a purpose for you. If you just look at it from that perspective alone, you know there's a reason why you're here. You know there's a purpose for you beyond whatever you may be seeing and experiencing at this time. So you are special. Ye are gods. So know that and walk in that. If you're made in God's image, then ye are gods. You know? So some of you all, stop wearing the mask. Stop hiding the abuse. Start letting people know what's going on. If you're hiding it, if you're in an abusive relationship at this moment, that what you need to do is you need to start strategizing a plan out of there. And you need to let your family know so your family can be a support system for you. It's not about being ashamed. It's not about being embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? It's about getting the help that you need and having the support that you need. So if that is the case for any of you, if anybody's dealing with that, if anybody you know is dealing with that, step up and let them know, look, I got you. You know, because that, this, that, what I'm getting from black and blue is absolutely like physical abuse. And that could be the reason why someone is like wearing a mask or, I, I just kept hearing like concealer. Like, you know, if there's a feminine, she's like putting concealer on to cover up the black and blue, putting up all this makeup, maybe even if it's a masculine, he's wearing like shades you know, in dark rooms, even like, so just be mindful, just be mindful if that is the case. All right. So, all right. And I see personal growth. So someone's growing, someone's definitely going through some sort of maturation coming into spiritual alignment, which makes them spiritually strong. So that's why they're so trusting now of their intuition and they're not wavering. They're trusting that inner gumption. It's beautiful. And so we have flowetry say yes. Say yes. So say yes is here. So I feel like, you know, someone may come in. This is someone who's been maturing. Like I said, with this energy, I'm just feeling like somebody's been growing, maturing, leveling up, you know. And so if this person invites you out to have a conversation, I feel like it's really about an olive branch. Them extending, you know, an apology if need be. Um, and not to say that you need it, you know, some of you do. Some some people don't feel like they can have closure until they receive an apology. But I'm telling you, if you sit around waiting for somebody to apologize for something they've done wrong, I'm telling you, you got a long wait because it takes a long, sometimes it takes lifetimes, maybe triple lifetimes for people to wake up to the truth of a matter. You know, a lot of people repeat cycles and, you know, repeat a lot of, of, of their karmic lessons because, you know, I mean, their karmic um 
yeah, they repeat a lot of their karmic lessons because they're not taking heed. They're not paying attention, you know, and so they have to do it all over again. And sometimes people repeat this. They come into one light, lifetime and then they go out having to learn the lesson in the next because they've yet to learn it. So if you gonna sit around and, and, and wait to heal thyself until somebody comes in and apologizes, beloved, that's a long time to wait. Your best bet is to show forgiveness and accept the apology you never received. You know what I'm talking about? And that's that's the best way to deal with it. So with this personal growth, maybe somebody who's been growing, uh, someone who's been maturing, someone who's been learning, someone who's received some really solid advice um, is really coming back because maybe they are now uh, aware you know, of something they've done wrong in the past. And I feel like what Spirit is saying is if the energy is fluid, if their energy is rocking with your energy, vibing with your energy, then you can say yes. If you feel any type of any resistance in that, then of course you know what to do. That's why I said it's all about free will. But trust what the energy speaks to you, you know, because that will let you know. And if it feels good, say yes, because I feel like this can continue to strengthen, you know, of course with time and with more conversations but I feel like you could be on the right path to reconciling a relationship that may still mean something to you um, because this person is obviously coming back uh, because you mean something to them because I saw that 4444 and that's 16 and that's 7 so I felt like someone was returning this is someone who's coming back a little more assertive a little more confident and it's because they've been growing they've been healing and they've seen the error of their ways so this is like ascension this is like a graduation card so let's tap in so let's see spirit what messages you have for my beautiful scorpios they have a message of love and a message of light for my beautiful scorpios so say yes i feel like spirit is telling you say yes because you may not be as receptive May not be as open, especially with that protection card that showed up, that jack-o'-lantern. You know, I was picking up like you're in a protective bubble, very guarded, you know, just kind of, kind of, you know, standing your ground, not backing down. Okay, so let's cut the deck. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. You make me so, 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 so. Gotta sing, sister, sign. All right, so what we have on the bottom of the deck, manifestation. So the number eight, what did I say? This is a wish fulfillment for you all. This is gonna make you emotionally fulfilled, elated, satisfied overjoyed happy like this is beautiful and i feel this is something you're manifesting this is like a sacred connection sacred partner and i feel with the eight someone could be really just like setting their intentions maybe you all are you know finding yourselves um very spiritually strong at this time as well where you are setting intention and utilizing all of your elements around you, all of the elements around you, even your herbs, you could be doing your own little manifestation spells to bring in and draw in love in general. I feel also like your ancestors are um, bringing you some sort of wish fulfillment. Someone sees you as a wish fulfillment as well. And I feel like with say yes, someone did not say yes. Someone definitely could have felt rejected. Someone rejected another person. And with this eight here, I feel like someone is trying to manifest another opportunity, a second chance, second time, or a second chance rather. And spirit is like, say yes. This person absolutely sees you as like family. And there's definitely someone you know, someone you're familiar with, with that tree there. So you can plant seeds and roots. This is a wish fulfillment for y'all. I absolutely feel like spirit is granting you a wish. This could even be like a blessing from your ancestors and your guides. You know, your angels. I was feeling like they was, you know, like conspiring behind the scene, you know, to to 
set you know bring you into alignment with someone because i'm getting like this eight i'm getting like the eight of pentacles someone wanting to come in and work together and we have love don't come easy and that played in the um i believe that played in the yang reading that i did a few weeks ago raheem divine so love don't come easy this is what someone is learning Someone is learning that love doesn't come easy. Whatever they thought they had, they thought it was love. It wasn't. Love doesn't come easy. Especially real love. You're going to bump into duds every day, all day. But real love, it doesn't come easy. And someone is now realizing, damn, that Scorpio is a wish fulfillment. That eight is showing me like they've been praying and wishing and hoping. You know, they've been praying and wishing and hoping. Only to discover that they had it all along. And they let it slip away. While they sat around and was in this kind of toxic entanglement where everybody was just wearing masks, not being their authentic selves, walking on eggshells, feeling controlled, you know, just very contrived. I just feel like it was contrived, like it was just a farce. I don't feel there's no happiness there. Very is like child's play, immaturity, but very much. If you could see like the house in the background is like the main focus. Like that's like what's setting behind them. So I feel like the household was the focus, like the running of the household. So it was all about money. It was about finances and security. Someone not wanting to be alone because we had Mary J. Blige and Dave E. saying rent money. So somebody was just focused on the rent money, the mortgage, the car notes, the bills, period. And everybody was wearing a mask. Nobody was being real. And with this 66 healing, I can't play. I don't play with this. When it comes to these readings, I'm telling you. What did I say about this person? This person was healing. You know, I was picking up on the energy of this person. Healing, growing, maturing. Had to work on themselves. They had to learn self-discipline. Because this was a stubborn mofo. A skull is very thick. You know, it's, it's, it's very hard. So this skull, it was like... Very hard-headed person, very hard-headed individual. Thick-headed, but they grew. They've been healing. The 66 rate breaks down to 12, that's three. That's the same three we saw. And what made this person snap out of it? It was the Divine Feminine. This is like teaching and learning. This is the, the um, very unique dynamic that a Divine Masculine and Feminine has. Whether you're in union or not, it's like you're always it's like you trigger them, you know, and they you, whether you realize it or not. So this person has been growing and I do feel they've been watching you. So that could also be the reason for them wanting to work on themselves or seeking advice or just doing more to, you know, to self improve. But this is the healing. This is a focused energy with this blue. This is showing me that this is something that they really focused in on and honed in on so as to become a better version of themselves. Because I feel like this, 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 they're healing from heartache and loss. They're healing from, you know, the pain and agony, you know, that took place perhaps in their current relationship, maybe perhaps between you and them. But there's a, a very strong focus of healing. And because this is double numbers, I feel this is you and the person mirroring one another. So you've been doing your healing and they've been doing theirs. And so there's now this this meeting of the minds that could take place because now you're on equal playing field. I was picking up like a like-minded individual. So they see you as highly intuitive and now they're learning to tap into their intuition as well. They're learning to trust what they feel and not what they're hearing from, you know, people who could be sabotaging their relationships, people who could be jealous of them, people who may not want to see them in a healthy relationship or in a loving relationship. Because that means that what? They're taking time away from the football games they go and attend or the basketball games or the holes they can go holla at when they're at the club. Like, so th you can have homeboys and homegirls that are definitely there to, to be roadblocks to your happiness, you know, to be there to derail you from what you're destined to have. Because remember, I saw that destiny, um, the wheel of fortune, rather, um, I was seeing, you know, that it was a destined type of relationship because Karen Wheeler and the wheel was sticking out in my mind's eye. So this person definitely with the 12 breakdown, the three, they feel like, yo, you're the, the empress. 
And if you're an empress, you feel like that, that's your emperor. You know, this is somebody that you definitely can build and grow and heal, you know, your legacy period, you know, because you've learned from your experiences. This is like very powerful stuff. This is why it's sacred, because you both are doing that, that internal work, healing at a soul level. You know, this is this is not just something that just happened, like, you know, the heartbreak they could have experienced or endured in a former relationship or a karmic relationship. This is something that's like deeply rooted. So this required like some some time in hermit mode to really reflect some time in isolation, you know, to really be able to get down and do some of that that soul work. You know, what I'm talking about. And so we have um, I don't know who this is. It says X, Y. X, X, Y, Y, X, X about you. So, yep, this person definitely feels, you know, thinks the, the, I feel like they think the world about you, but they also think that you are like an empress. You know, I feel like they feel like you naturally ground their energy. You have a healing quality, very loving and nurturing, very emotionally intelligent type of energy. So let's see, why is Skull of Flowers here for... The overall energy may have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And so we have nature, 74. So they feel this connection is definitely a la natural. And that's the number 11 that breaks down to 11. So this is one half of the twin flame number. And then we have new beginnings here on the bottom of the deck. So this person may have met you um, in an outside setting. Maybe you met this person at a you know, a grocery store or maybe bumped into them at a gym, maybe during a walk, maybe in a parking lot, uh, maybe at a function. Um, but I feel like there was trees outside setting. I'm just getting like 74 degrees Celsius even. Maybe someone was born in the year of 1974. Um, I'm also hearing like flower child. So I don't, I, I think that's something associated with like the seventies as well. Flower child. But this is someone who's um, deeply feeling a strong connection with you, very sacred connection, and a lot of love, beloveds. First and foremost, when you look at the colors on this card, it's green. The whole card is green. So this speaks to the love, the depth of love that they have for you. But then we also have that purple on the inside. So this person has been growing. They've been growing. They've reached their crown chakra where they're now uh, trusting their intuition, where they're now able to see things um, very clearly in terms of this connection, this connection, the connection that they have with whomever they may be with, whomever they were with, um, that they may still feel this 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 uh, sense of of um, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I used it earlier, but they may feel this sense of obligation. Uh, whatever this is, I feel like this person is listening to their intuition because the 74 breaks down to 11, which breaks down to two. And that two is associated with the high priestess. But I also feel like that high priestess could be symbolic of the one that had them under some sort of mind control. Or maybe this is just them being very stubborn minded. And now their intuition is kind of kicking in. Um, they're getting this high energy now to start, you know, trusting what they're feeling opposed from opposed to what they may be hearing, the hearsay, the chatter, uh, you know, unsolicited advice from their homeboys, even their family member. Um, this is something that they're trusting because with that purple on the inside, it's like they're getting some sort of divine intervention from spirit. And I feel like what they're going to do is they're going to move forward and they're going to go after some sort of new opportunity. A new beginning is taking place. They see you also, I feel, as someone that they want a new beginning with. Um, this person has been growing and they have emerged because with this emotional intelligence and this one, it's like they now can start, you know, back at one or back at ground zero almost um, to try to rekindle perhaps this connection because they have a lot of passion. The number one is a masculine number. It's a very felicious number also. So I feel like this person does have a lot of passion, um, a lot of love, a lot of lust even uh, with this vampire emotional. You see how she's drinking the blood and remember the blood is symbolic of you know, your DNA, um, and them just even, you know, seeing you as someone they could plant seeds and roots with. Um, I feel with Vivian Green, emotional roller coaster playing, 
this is what this person has done. I was picking up on them being like an energy vampire perhaps in the past because they was kind of like in and out, kind of flighty, here one minute, gone the next, ghosting. I was picking up them ghosting, you know, somebody feeling ghosted, uh, someone not really being committed because they was already in uh, some sort of commitment or already having some sort of obligations to another situation or maybe there was just residual um, energy between an ex or a karmic or someone they were tied to um, domestically, you know, whether they had children together or maybe someone uh, was an acting parent, um, you know, like, a, you know, I don't, I don't like the word step parent, just a parent, but they were, you know, maybe they were filling the role of a parent uh, for someone and that could be the reason why there was obligation or maybe it was just the bills and, you know, the upkeep of the home, the upkeep of, you know, the mortgage, whatever it is. Um, but now there's this this desire to have this new beginning. So something has ended because someone has grown wiser. Remember, we saw wise seeing, wise action. So now that this person has, you know, obtained some level of emotional intelligence, now they're going to come in and know how to emote. They're going to speak your love language. This is someone that definitely had you on this emotional roller coaster ride. Here one minute, go on the next. Calling you one minute, ghosting you the next. Never any consistency. And so you could have chucked up the deuces and was like, peace. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not playing these stupid games. So this person wants a new beginning. I feel like they're on the precipice of some new start or some new junction in their life. Why is uh, energy? Wow, that was quick. Let me finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck. 14, moderation. I can't make this up. So this person has been changing and the change that they are making is to muster up the strength, courage and wisdom to communicate, to emote. That 14 breaks down to five. That's associated with the heart chakra. So this person is going to express perhaps that they love you and they may apologize for, you know, the games, the trickery, the foolishness, um, the child's play, you know, because I was picking up child's play with the, you know, with the whole um, trick or treat card and the word play. I was, you know, kind of picking up on that energy as well and so we have 87 synchronicity this is the 15 that's the six that that's that person from your past someone's returning from your past this is someone that could potentially see you like the yang to their yin yin to their yang their divine feminine this is someone that sees you as a cosmic companion and there's definitely signs that are you know, like screaming at this person. They're seeing all kind of 11 11s. They could be seeing, you know, all kind of 444s. Four, four, they could be seeing all kinds of numbers just reminding them. Maybe they're seeing 333. Three, three. Um, but they're seeing these numbers which are literally like divine um, intervening and, and telling this person that is absolutely a person because what's on the inside of this symbol is pink. So someone is having some grand epiphany you know, about the love, you know, that they have and carry for another person. And that is what's going to spark some sort of change. You know, that's what's already sparked a change, I should say, in this person. And we have Lords of the Underground featuring Red Man. And this is called What I'm After. So you're what they're after. So this, the red, you know, what I'm getting from Red Man, the red is associated with the root chakra. Uh, the root is all about the root cause, you know. So someone was definitely like, Dealing with, I was feeling like, you know, childhood issues. Maybe someone was healing their inner child. Someone could have been acting childish. But they also know that you have done a lot of work. The root chakra in, and the base chakra um, is scorpionic energy. It's associated with scorpionic energy because it represents life and death. So this black cat. Is how they see you. They see you as someone who has made, you know, enormous change. Like you've emerged someone completely different. As I said earlier, very intelligent. They see you as someone very wise. They see you as someone very spiritual, very intuitive, very strong. Um, and you know your worth now. It's like there's no denying that you know who you are. You know what you stand up for. You stand up for what you believe in. Where in the past, you could have been a little passive. Um, but these are the changes that they've seen you make. Um, and they also see that you've reached a level of self-mastery yourself. Um, like you've been doing some changes, whether spiritually um, you've, you've transformed, um, you have a stronger connection. Maybe they see you, um, you know, perhaps providing services connected, directly related to spirituality. But it's like this person sees uh, that you have uh, some amazing opportunities uh, just based off of your your gifts, your talents, your skills. Um, and this is, you know, maybe some of you all have like your own channel. You utilize your throat chakra perhaps. Um, 
you know, maybe in music, maybe um, you have your own videos or your own channel where you may be into self-help or you may teach classes or you may do, you know, like sound therapy or Reiki healing or you do something creative, you know, something related to your artistry, your creativity. And um, that's something that's also very deeply admired. And that also uh, makes them adore you even more because it's just like they're seeing all these different facets, all these different sides of you that they may not have taken the time to get to know in the past or maybe those are the things that kind of lure them in because it's very mysterious um it's very you know just very intriguing perhaps they've never met anyone like you but it's like you're what they're after because it says what i'm after so this person is after you they definitely have a lot of passion because that red is associated you know with passion and lust and love um desire and fire um, but that red, like I said, also deals with the root chakra and they do see that you've been learning a lot, growing a lot. Um, you've definitely become spiritually strong, very wise, very, very tapped in, you know, tapped into that God frequency, that Christ consciousness. So why is black cat here? How this person Scorpio is attracting feels about them. And we have on the bottom, bottom of the deck, 46 domestic harmony. So yeah, this is what is happening here but we're going to first pick up this card so we have one new beginnings so what did i say this person wants you this is one the base chakra i was just talking about this is also a red card so this is the first chakra i was just speaking to how this person sees you as very skilled very informed very intuitive very down to earth but also someone who has mastered yourself it's like you've reached a level of self-mastery for you to be someone whom they see as very um fortunate it's because you've learned from the experiences of your past you know you, you're not the type of person to go through something and repeat it over and over and over it's like you you get the message or you get the point the first time you learn the lesson the first time and so you've learned a lot you know it's almost like they see you as someone because there are four books here so this four represents each of um the signs water fire earth and air so it's like you've mastered each element and that's why they see you as someone that will, um, you know, have uh, success and, and fortune um, that may be already experiencing these things because you've definitely reached a level of self mastery. So with this new beginning, they want a new start. I was picking up on someone wanting to reconcile, wanting to resuscitate a connection. And I felt like they knew they had work to do in order to come back because I was getting intimidation um, earlier. I was picking up on them being a little intimidated, not really knowing how to come towards you, what to say, uh, really trying to plan and strategize. Um, but I do feel like with this 46 domestic harmony, there is no harmony wherever they are now. That's why it's at a 46. It's an end. It's very burdensome. So what started out perhaps as a very um, loving connection, I feel like they do have love for this person, but I also feel like they want to communicate that the love is gone. The domestic harmony is at a 10. So that's an ending um, in my eyes. You know, endings uh, represent new beginnings. That's why they want a new beginning with you. I feel like this person is trusting their intuition and they will go ahead and say, look, you know, this is not working out because at the end of the day they realize that their happiness matters um it isn't about just you know uh keeping up appearances you know it's really about having that sense of happiness and and, and joy and and feeling like you're in you know a partnership that you can you know have that happy house happy spouse dynamic or that happily ever after your homie love a friend like that's what this person is looking for and i feel like they see that more so with you than they do anyone else because the synchronicity is showing me that six is associated with the lovers six is also associated with the six of cups i'm getting also the six of pentacles um so this is someone that wants to build wants to be generous wants to come back and and give you something tangible um you know make offerings but you know back up their word you know mean what they say and say what they mean so to speak so let's see why is this crying intuition here they have a message of love and light thank you spirit Bottom of the deck, we have spiritual partnership. What did I say? Didn't I say that? I told y'all that from the very beginning of the reading. I don't play. Don't play with me because I don't play. All right. So let's see what we got playing now. And so we have, who is this? This is Steel Pulse, your house. So what did I say? I swear to God, this is crazy. 
So someone's house, what's hidden is the house is in, like, it's up in shambles. Like, the house is out of order. That's what it is. Like, there's something going on. Someone realizes that all of this here is just for looks. It's just for appearances. There's no happiness here. Both of them are wearing masks. They're not being their authentic selves. They don't even really want to be here. They're just here because they got that big ass house that they got to keep upkeep. With your house, this person realizes the pulse. I'm getting like, it, there's no pulse. When you have a house situation, that means there's, it, it's not a home. Love makes a house a home. The people inside that love and care for one another is what makes a house feel more like a home, like your sanctuary, your safe haven. Someone is listening to their intuition. It's been a situation, obviously, that has been taking a lot of time. But this too is what? Associated with the high priestess. So there are trusting their intuition when it comes to whomever this person is that has been super controlling, master manipulating, a gaslighter. They could have been dealing with somebody who has control issues. Someone who could be emotionally manipulative. Not just psychically manipulative or mentally manipulative. But this is like someone finally seeing something crystal clear about another person. And it's requiring patience. Whatever they're planning, they're being very patient and strategic about the out. Because they already know that the house, the pulse, see that? The pulse in that house is it's like it's flatlined. There's no there's no love there. So this too is showing that this person is making a decision or they've already make a made a decision to leave because they were stuck originally in two minds. Why? Because they had someone gaslighting them, mind ucking them, bull crapping them. And so now they're no longer listening to words or hearsay or advice or, you know, they're not listening to other people. They're listening to their own intuition now. And that's what their spirit team, their guides, their angels, ancestors have been telling them to do. Because I'm telling you, there's a difference between the connection they have with you and the connection they have with someone else. With you, is green. With this person here, it's all orange. Orange deals with moving to the beat of your drum. Ooh. All right, I take that as a, a message, you know? It's like confirmation. So that's like moving to the beat of your drum and not being controlled or manipulated or confused by what someone else is telling you. So someone is listening to their own intuition now. And look at this, 61 self-love. I cannot make this up. Self-love. This isn't about staying somewhere because of obligation or because of the bills. This is also orange. This is also an orange card. Oh no, this is red. My bad. You know, but still, the point it still remains the same. Self-love makes you more attractive and, and, and love is an inside job. So this person was definitely trapped in a relationship that was loveless. Both of these people are wearing masks. They both was like not even showing up for the relationship it was just like like i said out of obligation what bills got to be paid that's probably the most conversation they have is on the first of the month when all the bills need to be paid and they're talking about who's going to pay what and what's going to get done that's the only conversation but self-love and that's the seven that i was picking up remember i said the seven somebody's going to come in someone realizing because love has to first reside in you before you can extend it to someone else so this person now is learning to love themselves. Just as I said here, this is about moving to the beat of your drum. What feels best for you? Prioritizing your needs. So this person now is like self-love. This is a part of the self-discipline, self-care. So they're doing what they need to do. And guess what they're going to do? They're finally going to open up their throat chakra and give this person the business. They're going to tell them exactly what it is. And what it is not... But they're going to be very frank. This is real. This is like, yo, because look what, they, what, what they've what they come to realize. I told you, this person knows with you, this ish is sacred. They adore you. They love you. 
This is why spirit showed up saying this is a protected union. Regardless of what this high priestess, this person, whoever this is, trying to do whatever, you know, because they could be doing all kind of spells, burying the man draws in the dirt, you know, doing all kind of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Come to me, stay with me, who knows? Whatever they're doing, it's like spirit is definitely very protective of this union. Which is why this was the first card, bam, that came out. Like, not only are you protected, beloved, but whomever is meant to be with you, they too are protected. Because this union in and of itself is a protected, sacred union. Preordained. And that's why spiritual partnership is here. I'm telling you, I love when this happens. I mean, shall I stop? Or shall I go on? <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> So we got the Jones girl, girls, knight, oh, knights over Egypt. So with knights, definitely, I feel like, you know, knights represent darkness, you know, uh, maybe someone's dreaming, dreaming a lot about another person, thinking a lot about another person in the evening time, you know, um, it represents darkness. So maybe there was confusion, uh, but Jones, someone's last name, first middle could be Jones, um, Someone could be a Jones. We have Choose Wisely here on the bottom of the deck of the Psychic Tarot. So there is a choice, just as I've said. Someone's having to make a choice, a decision. And what they are going to do is trust their intuition. Because guess what? They got this, this crystal ball here. And this crystal ball will help them to scry, to see into the future as to what they need to do. What decisions they need to make. You know? Where they need to go. On the split, we have emotional withdrawal, the number eight. So this is the same 87. That's 15. That's six. So this is the same 87 that came out of here. This is, I feel like, you know, the divine download they're getting. You know, because as you can see in both of these cards, there's heavy meditation there. That person right there is at the dock, sitting on the dock of the bay. When in the time roll away. How does that song go? Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. I'm showing my age, but that's what this person is doing. Maybe they like being by the water, the beach. They could be a water sign. Someone they may live at a beach and they tend to go there to meditate, to get things straight. But I feel like this emotional withdrawal, this has absolutely everything to do with someone coming into some sort of revelation or having that grand epiphany or that... Um, awareness as to who their true love is you know because that 87 reduces to 15 which is six so that deals with the lovers you know this could also be someone just you know finding that sense of balance equilibrium within themselves mind body and soul you know and so this energy is allowing them you know enabling them to see something clear you know having some sense of clarity but also knowing which direction to go, what, where to choose, you know, where to go, who to choose, if there is an, a choice between two people, you know. And these birds always remind me of like blue herons. I've seen a couple of them this past summer. And when I looked up the meaning of the blue heron, it means uh, the most high is watching over you. Um, it's protection, prosperity, self-determination, self-resilience inner peace stability and psychic powers so this is what you have uh access to i feel this is what your person also is tapping into um the water is very healing it's very purifying but it also is a way to release so maybe this person is finally making the decision to release to cut free to purge to purify themselves from something you know that that uh no longer serves their highest good their greatest good so let's tap in so my spirit of love and light, what messages you have for my beautiful Scorpio? So we got three cards that just kind of flew out on their own. What's on the bottom of the deck? We got victory and success, baby. I love it. Victory and success. There's a breakthrough, major breakthrough coming through. And we have Michael Jackson, Billy Jean. So Michael Jackson. So someone's name could be Michael Jackson, Billy Jean. But I'm getting also, because we're about to clarify DNA, so genes. Um, I'm getting like genes, uh, so genetics, um, maybe someone is realizing or finding, like I said, that someone uh, better matches their fly. 
Um, because what he says is, Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who thinks that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. So whoever this person was, maybe they were in a relationship with someone thinking that they had a child with another person, but they found out through genetics, through the DNA, perhaps that the child wasn't theirs. Um, I'm getting a sense of that as well. But I'm also just getting a sense, you know, that there is um, someone who feels uh, that you, you know, you are the one. You know, whoever this other person is, that's not their lover. You are their lover. And with you, there's, there's this beautiful victory and success. We already saw happy ending. So this is saying like a major breakthrough. I feel like someone had some sort of like, it's like a grand epiphany. It's like a celebration. He's sitting here blowing his horn, his trumpet. So it's like, you know, the angels, the gods are, you know, shining down upon this person. You can see that beautiful glow of sunlight just kind of basking down on this, this, um, this um, person here. And what I see also is like, you know, there's a beautiful flag, you know, it's like a red flag. So with this six, this could be someone from the past kind of like just looking to have um, an opportunity to apologize, an opportunity to to come back and, and just tell you how they feel. And I feel there's a lot of adoration. I feel like there's, you know, a lot of love, you know. So let's see what came out. So we have positive movements forward. Beautiful. This is beautiful energy. Number eight. So the eight, eight and eight, 16, that's seven. This person's coming toward you. And that's just double confirmation because it says positive movements forward. So this will end up in something very, very, um, very beautiful. I'm almost getting like, this is like, you know, a beautiful love story. It's like a Hallmark freaking love movie. and sh <laughs> Because it's just like, you know, it's like separation, but reconnection, you know? And it's like, there, there was a lot of work that had to be done independently. You know, sometimes you got to break free from someone in order to know that's actually what you want. That's actually what's best for you. But there's positive movement forward. And I just see a lot of wish fulfillment and happiness. I feel someone is absolutely leaving something behind to go towards, you know, that that sun, that sun represents radiance and, and illumination and truth. So someone's having a beautiful epiphany about love, about what they desire, about what they may deem as a wish fulfillment. And they're following that dream. They're following it. And so next we have shadow. See that? So they've been doing a lot of shadow work. And this is what has been revealed to them. It's like they was, you know, operating and functioning in their, in their shadow side, you know, really being stubborn and all of that. And that's why, you know, they had to take that time out to really grow, really heal. Um, you know, with this creating through the ashes, this is almost like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Re-emerging someone new, someone different, but also discovering, you know, discovering your truth and, and owning it and making a decision and standing by it more importantly. But it's like this person definitely feels that the two of you mirror one another. The shadow is the moon. So someone could have been really hiding their emotions, hiding their feelings, not trusting their intuition. And then in return, you know, the devil is, you know, the, the mind is the devil's playground. So what happens is you start having a lot of chatter. A lot of people get to come in and, and tell you what they think and give you unsolicited advice and start, you know, becoming the distractors and the detractors that's confirmation from spirit so this this led to a lot of um distance separation um between you and someone else but i feel like they are starting to see the light they're starting to have you know some sort of truth and clarity because there's something changing within them and this 74 and the 18 still reduces to 11 um because that eight i mean that nine and the 74 which reduces to 11 that two eight and two I mean, the nine and two, I keep saying eight, the nine and two reduces to 11. So this is, in fact, someone who realizes that you are their twin flame, the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. Um, they love you good, bad and indifferent. It's like this person has come to this realization um, and, and all they see is you. You know, um, when you look here, it's like they they that you are a mirror reflection of who they are. That's why I was picking up like like minds. And so we have here halfway house playing. So this is um, Casa overall that also played in the Divine Masculine. So this is definitely like this. This is, you know, definitely saying something here because this person was not really 
um, giving all of themselves, you know, because that's what I was picking up in the form of reading. Like they, they was like had one foot in, one foot out. So it's like they were torn, um, perhaps even in two minds, um, torn between two people, two homes, two things. Um, but there's definitely there was some sense of like, you know, like fork in the road kind of like. Um, but now there is more of um, a full awareness of what it is they desire. And so look at this emotional loss here. I was picking up on that energy, beloveds. I'm telling you, because remember, we saw that healing. We saw that healing card. And this is the person you are attracting and how they feel towards you. And so what this says is vampire, emotional, um, emotional intelligence, synchronicity, and an emotional loss. So this was that person that refused to show you any type of emotions, any type of attention. They barely gave you any of their time. It was like there was always something else going on um, that was more important. They were always prioritizing everything, everyone else. Barely made enough time or effort to show you how they feel. Like they, I feel like this person was self-sabotaging, to be honest. Like Because when we first pulled the cards, it was like they, they adored you. You know what I'm saying? The song I Adore You was playing. There was a lot of cards saying. but And we also had... Um, Vivian Green saying this person, you know, had you in on, on some sort of emotional roller coaster. So this is why the emotional intelligence card is showing up for the person you're attracting because they were all over the place emotionally. They didn't know what they want. They didn't know how to feel. They did. They were not equipped to give you what they didn't have. That's why it required them to make the necessary moderations and to do their own work. They had to learn to love themselves. People can't give you something they don't have they're not in possession of so it's like at the end of the day um you could request a million dollars from me from cash app all day long but if i ain't got it then you ain't getting it so it's the same thing with love so this person suffered love they had to suffer the loss you know they had to suffer some sort of loss in order to really understand the purpose the meaning and this 87 and this five reduces to 11. so what they had to realize or what they've come to realize is that you are their twin flame. We got 11, 11 right next to one another. So you are the yin to their yang. You are the one they love. In your absence, this is how they felt. A great loss. Even though they could have been in this old farce of a relationship, they could have been here and not really loving on themselves and showing themselves love because they was just doing something that was forced. Maybe they was doing something just to appease and please another person. But this is what they deeply felt behind the scenes. And the lack of community, the number five, which is associated with the throat chakra, is also a factor. I was picking up somebody who was really like, you know, it was like time was just slipping. I'm, and I'm hearing that song. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. And that's what's happening. It's like so much time is slipping away. And the more time passes, I feel like the more anxious this person may become um but i feel like they're definitely learning to heal themselves because you can see he's a heal he's applying his own healing hands and that healing is reverb reverb how do you say that reverberating reverb reverberating into the ethers you know and so it's like he's healing thyself and in healing thyself he can begin to love himself and when he loves himself then he can identify what love actually looks like and that's what he's starting to see here when he's looking over at you and he's recognizing you as a fortune you know fortune is the wheel of fortune someone that's destined to be with him so it says destiny meets opportunity you know, so whenever this opportunity presents itself, this is what he's now willing to go after because that um, that 11 becomes two. So that's the, you know, the, the, the action that he's going to take or she's going to take uh, to have this new beginning. But right now we have Skip Marley and her and this is called Slow Down. So you may have slowed down in, you know, perhaps communication, slow down um Maybe even, you know, if they were so used to seeing you posting online, maybe you don't post as much as you did. So it kind of, you know, it, that was kind of like their 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 everyday routine was to get up. Maybe if you had a social media account, maybe you didn't realize that this person was like they could have had some sort of dummy account set up and they could have been following you through those means, maybe through a, a mutual friend or family. Um, but it's like maybe you've slowed down in your posts or maybe you haven't been as um you haven't been as social or active, and so maybe this is something someone is, um, 
they're kind of watching, looking for you. So we have this victory and success. This is what they want to come in with. I feel like they're going to rush in. This person really means business this time around because they've learned a lot. See this? First card I saw was the stand your ground. This is how they see you. Very defensive. And I'm hearing they want to let you, they want your defenses to fall. And there's another card that flew. Wow. So we got accelerated motion, the number eight. And then we also have this number seven that also flew out. Choose wisely. So we got seven, seven, and then eight for how they how they feel about you. And the first one was stand your ground. So they do feel this sense of guardedness. You're very guarded. That's why I was picking up like they feel very intimidated. Um because they know you've been learning, you've been growing, you've been maturing. They also know you're going to be very, like, you're going to be very uh, selective on what you allow back into your life. You know, this is just what you've learned through your journey was to pay attention to the red flags and to not just have everybody in your life and around you. Um, you also, you know, are this person's wish fulfillment. They definitely want to rush in. I feel like they're coming in quick. You know, there's like some sort of incoming communication uh, that you may not be expecting. Or maybe you do because you are highly intuitive and you are on it. It's like you are on it. But they are watching. I feel like they're watching. You know, maybe they're just kind of planning, you know, the right opportunity. But this is really beautiful because you had the manifestation and now you have accelerated motion. And I always see this as like a wish fulfillment because it's a shooting star. So this is like coming in quicker than you realize. This person could be coming in or communication could be coming in. Maybe they'll be traveling to see you. Maybe this is, you know, uh, the the advice. Remember, you know, spirit was telling you say yes with flowetry. And if this person does return and their energy feels good and you feel like you can um, let your guard down a little bit, then, you know, then do so. You know, but I feel like with choose wisely, uh, spirit is telling you trust your own intuition. Ashe. And then we have on the bottom of the deck, I'm going to put these cards back on the bottom, um, back in the deck. And we have Charlie Bar Baltimore and we have stand up. All right. Some of y'all could be from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, some of y'all could be named Charlie, Chuck. Um, but this is someone who definitely ghosted you. And I feel like now they're willing to stand up. They really, they're willing to um, like stand their ground because you do have stand your ground. Maybe they see you, you know, now in your true light. Maybe they see your worth and value. They didn't see it in the past. With stand up, you're standing perpendicular in your square. You're standing erect. You're not backing down. You're very choice. You like you're very um, op opinionated now. Like you're speaking your peace, you're saying what's on your mind, what's on your heart. You're not just, you know, you're not just appeasing the please no more. Those days are over. It's like you meditate to get it straight and if it don't sit right in your spirit, you're off it. But I definitely feel someone is rushing in. I feel like somebody's rushing in. And we got the suffering in silence. And we're about to clarify what's hidden in the energy. So this could be that person who's stuck in this loveless connection or in a karmic relationship or in a very... Um, you know, it's like an arrangement. <laughs> it feels more like an arrangement than a relationship. But the suffering and silence is over because the number nine, highest number of change. So they've been reflecting. They've, they've made it to the top of the mountain, the peak of the mountain. So now they can see things, you know, all of this cloud. It was really blurring their vision. So they couldn't see down here, but now they're at the top. And the sun is shining very, very brightly. Shining brightly. So this has given them that epiphany. It's given them that... You know, that moment of clarity. And that's why this Illumin, this uh, intuition card is here. So they see something crystal clear now. And I feel it's that, that high priestess, whoever this high priestess is. Whoever that controlling person was. Because we got ghost face killer. And remember we had the ghost on the card that was sticking out to me. So this is that person they're in this relationship with. It's like this person is a ghost. It's like they're there but not there. It's like, why is intuition and patience here? Celebration. So 
So someone is definitely listening to their intuition and their intuition is telling them to go back. Remember I said rejoice and celebration and I was saying like this person reunite and reconcile. I was getting like the three of cups. This is what this is. This is like the three of cups right here. So this person has definitely made a decision. They've made some sort of decision to go towards what is um, what feels like home. You know, they want to reconcile, want to resuscitate something. And we have fulfillment of wishes. I can't make this up. There's a wish fulfillment here. You got the eight manifestation and then you have the eight accelerated motion. Someone is going to implement self-love. Self They've been calling in, drawing in, praying, manifesting a wish, a, bl a blessing, a prayer, a petition. And spirit is like, it is done. This could be in regards to something tangible like a job, a car, a new home, a lease. I definitely feel like someone is going to perhaps um, relocate, move out of a home, have their own sense of stability. This is like, this is self-love makes you more attractive. Self-love, self-care. Selfish love in me, myself, and I. I'm getting like the nine of cups. And when you love yourself, then others will know how to love you because you're teaching them how to love you by you loving you. So this is what this person is realizing. I got to love me. 61 reduces to 7. Standing in their power. Being more confident. Being more assertive. Going after what they want. Erica Badu. Orange Moon. And this is... Definitely, again, you know, when we speak of the self, that's about moving to the beat of your own drum and following your passion. So that's really like, you know, again, that I'm getting, you know, this person has finally, you know, they finally tapped into that, that sense of, you know, confidence and, and fearlessness, even strength, courage. Wise dome. The seven is associated with, a cr with the crown. So that speaks to the, the personal growth, the, the spiritual, mental, emotional alignment, strength that has taken place. And this teaches you to love yourselves more. Love you more. Not the house. Not the way being in a relationship looks. You know? Not the appearance of, but love you more than you love all of that other ish. With Orange Moon, I definitely feel like this could be perhaps a cancer or this is just someone now trusting their intuition or dreaming about the situation a lot. And we have recognition and reward. Beautiful. Spirit is recognizing the hard work and the efforts. Someone also recognizes your worth and value. Look what flew back out. We have fulfillment of wishes. There's a wish fulfillment. Someone's going after their wish fulfillment. There's no denying it. This seven and this nine reduces the 16. That's seven. Someone's rushing in. And it's because they're recognizing, you know, I feel like you're being recognized for your efforts. But also, spirit is going to bliss this union, bliss someone for taking action, for getting out of, you know, that, that lack mindset or that 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 shadow self but there's blessings here there's opportunities you have the manifestation you have accelerated motion there's some sort of wish fulfillment and we got the throat chakra and the universe which is the world so there's absolutely like a reward for completing a cycle wrapping up a cycle something has come full circle and the 21 also deals with the um, world card. That's something that I failed to mention. And we saw 2121 earlier. So that 21 is the world. So that definitely speaks to self mastery, you know, having a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself, the world, your life, relationships, whatever it is, and being rewarded because of it. You're being rewarded, recognized by spirit, and rewarded. And you should be very proud because that is beautiful. Absolutely. Undubitably. So let's pull some messages from the African American Tarot. And then we're going to wrap it up. All right. So we have the Six of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. So the Six of Pentacles. Somebody could be coming in wanting to be very generous. 
wanting to offer you something real, something tangible, maybe even commit to you, commit to being a better person to you, commit to, you know, a friendship or a love ship. On the split, we have the Ace of Swords. So there's a there's some communication coming in. There's also some clarity, like someone seeing something clear. And you see how this masculine is wearing like a mask. So it's like, you know, the more they sharpen steel, because steel sharpens steel. So it's like maybe this person, like I said, teaching and learning, maybe they're learning from you. They're sharpening up their communication skills, their emotional intelligence skills, and then they're going to come in and this time they will reveal their authentic self to you and take the mask off. They're so used to wearing a mask in relationships, but with you, they know they can't do that because you can see right through them with those cat eyes. Some of you could own a black cat as well. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that's very devoted, very practical, resourceful. They got the Midas touch. They know how to make things pop. They know how to make things snap, crackle, and pop, baby. And what did I say? They see you as wish fulfillment. Star. You are a star in this person's eyes. And with Moon, I feel like they get very emotional about this. I feel like they are definitely being pulled and tugged, you know, um, energetically, intuitively. But there was definitely a lot of, you know, competition. You look up there, all this chaos and, like I said, unsolicited advice. That's why they were breadcrumbing and giving you bits and pieces and listening to their homeboys, their homegirls, the da dump the dunce around them. But this is now what they're desiring, you know, manifesting, manifesting this opportunity. Maybe you are the master manifester calling in real love, true love, your divine counterpart. You know, someone that will give to you equally, someone that will be available. But I see you are the alchemist. You're setting attention as above, so below, as within, so without. And I feel like somebody is rushing in. You know, and I'm saying rush because usually, um, well, this is actually the Knight of, uh, of Cups, so pardon me. So the Knight of Cups, you know, this is someone who could have been emotionally manipulative in the, in the past, kind of flighty in and out. You know, hop into your life, hop, hop back out because that was a rabbit. You know, this is a rabbit on there. And then we have the, um, pardon me, this is the Page of Cups and this is the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so this is someone that wants to really like offer you love. Like they want to extend, you know, their cup of love to you. This is a new opportunity in love even. So what did I say? This person thinks of you, you know, perhaps a lot at night. But they say, I only think of you on two occasions, and that's day and night. And I feel like they took a gamble because the name of this group is called Deal. So they, they, took, a a, a they took some sort of gamble or took some sort of chance or cashed the check. They ash couldn't cash something. You know, when I hear Deal, it's like, because I think there's like, you know, someone that deals the cards. You know, so that's what I was hearing in my mind's eye. So they took, it was like a gamble, you know. And so, I mean, it's 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 obvious because I'm seeing it all and it's coming out with the cards and, and the songs. But this person does think about you a lot. And I feel like they do watch you. If they don't watch you per se, if you don't have social media and stuff like that, you're not active online, then there's another means. Maybe they have a photo of you or photos of you that they may look at, you know, and just stare at for a long time, maybe throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they look at the, the, the pictures at night before they go to bed. Maybe they're dreaming of you, you know. But there's a way that this person is, is, is watching you or looking at you. So may I have a message of love and light for my beautiful Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. Bottom of the deck, we have the six of pentacles here. So that's, again... I feel this is someone that wants to, you know, give to you equally now. This is someone that's definitely wanting to offer stability, security. This is someone that wants to be very generous, the way that I'm seeing it, especially with positive movement forward and the number eight manifestation and the ancestors card.
And if you look, there's like six pentacles there on the ground before this person. So it's like they, you know, they the spirit is bliffing this person. It's like a very generous offer. And six is the, you know, the number that is associated with the first eye. So maybe someone is, you know, perhaps following, you know, their intuition, which is leading them towards someone that they still, you know, they have a lot of love for. And as I said, they feel, you know, there's a, a similarity or a commonality between you and this person, or maybe they just see themselves being able to plant seeds and roots with you. They know that they could have, you know, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. They will feel content in this relationship, even elated is what I heard in my mind's eye. I'm hearing overjoyed, like they're giving me all these, all, all of these adjectives, like, yeah, elated, overjoyed, happy. And there goes the world card. Can't make this up, the world. So there could be distance. There's definitely distance, you know, and I feel like, you know, this is what could have really um, led to someone's awakening um, was you could have created distance. You could have transformed, changed you know, maybe you moved away and this triggered someone or activated them to do their shadow work, to start their dark night of the soul journey. Um, but I do feel like it led to, you know, someone discovering who they actually are, opposed to, you know, who this person they were pretending to be, this facade um, that they were, you know, parading around as like, it's like now someone is absolutely, you know, they've matured, they've grown, um, they've leveled up. I just see someone leveling up. You know, I also feel like, you know, whatever thick headedness or stubbornness they had, it's, 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 um, it's something that they have, uh, changed and transformed within themselves. You know, with this 11 here also, I just really get someone making a decision, a conscious decision to become a better version of themselves. Uh, with the world card, again, that's ascension. You know, that's elevating, you know, leveling up. That's self-mastery, growing, you know. And that 11 is a master number. Um, and I break it down, like I said. So I was picking up, you know, that this, whoever this is you're attracting is your other half, your better half, your cosmic companion, twin flame, soulmate, yang, the yin, 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 your yang, whatever you want to call it. Because you have 11 here with the 74 and 18, that reduces to 11. And then you have 87 and 5, which reduces to 11. So it's literally 11, 11 right next to one another. And this person, as I said, you and the person that you're with, you will mirror one another, you know, your journeys will start to mimic one another, mirror, mirror one another, but also your healing process, you know, and I feel like this person may have been kind of watching you, you could have taught them, you know, teaching and learning is really someone being triggered to, to grow. Give me one moment, please. Sorry about that. So we have the world card here. So I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. So why is um, Stella Flowers 74, Nature 18, Shadow? Why is these cards here? May I have a message of love and light? Why is Skull of Flowers, 74 Nature, and Shadow here from my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and light? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. And we have the tower on the bottom of the deck. That's exactly what I was picking up, especially when we saw that graveyard card. There's some sort of change, some sort of shift. So what flew out was we have the Emperor. Can't make this up. And we also have the number four, the pentacles. And look at this light bulb. So it's like this empress. Somebody was very controlling. Someone was very overbearing, overburdening, like very, you know, it's very like the authoritarian almost. My way or the highway. And this was a part of their shadow side. This is something they had to change. And I feel like also the communication, the way in which they communicated, their communication style was very harsh, you know. And I feel like someone had some sort of epiphany that it was time for them to like to protect themselves, guard themselves, block something or someone away off of, from them. I feel like someone really started to reflect on a lot of um, perhaps the communication, the conversations, the interactions, period. And discovered just how um, how toxic, you know, because I see a lot of thunders. You know, the lightning bolts, thunder. So there was a lot of arguments, fightings, disagreements. And this is someone that doesn't budge. It's either their way or no way. 
And this could be like, you know, the divine masculine energy. Someone like, you know, growing, as I said, coming out of the sp this space of stubbornness. Because even here, they're wearing a mask. So this is not being your authentic self, kind of hiding behind the mask. And then finally, this epiphany to stand in your, in your power. You know, but with this tower here, this this lack of emotional intelligence, this lack of, of vulnerability, and with world class wrecking crew featuring Michelle A, turn off the lights. Well, that's what happened. I was picking up like flat line, but this is like with turn off the lights. That's the darkness and world is sticking out. So this is what led to the end. And the, the world is also symbolic of like, you know, uh, cycles coming to completion or to a close or to a head. Um, but the tower also is symbolic of, you know, lies and, 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 and trickery and all that was being hidden, um, being exposed, you know, and that's the reason why there's a lot of emotional loss on behalf of the person you're attracting because, you know, they, they lacked emotional intelligence, which could have led to them being deceitful, not transparent, not honest, you know, um, and you know, at the end of the day, like I said, with that moon sitting right behind this, this vampire, I strongly feel like, you know, whatever the lies were, they were exposed. Something came to light because Scorpio's very intuitive, very, very in tune, very psychic. And as I said, you could see through all the bullfish. You have high energy. Cerebrally, nobody could rock, rock with you. Like, you, you see everything. Very in tune, very tapped in. And with turn off the lights, I feel like you just, you know, it, it was a turn off period for you to be dealing with a grown adult who was resorting to playing games and being very, you know, childish. So, yeah, that's what led to the demise of a relationship. This is really, I call this the destroy so we could rebuild, you know, because once something is destroyed, you have no choice but to rebuild it from the ground up. But you have to make sure the foundation is solid, you know, you can't rebuild on a wobbly ass you know <laughs> un un um what do you call it uneven foundation so you got to rebuild on something more solid so let's see why is emotional intelligence emotional loss up oh, wrong this goes that way and we have jaheen age ain't a factor see that so age ain't a factor so maybe some of you were dealing with someone younger or someone who was older this could have been, you know, a couple years. I'm not getting like 20 year difference or anything like that. Maybe, you know, it could have been, I'm, I'm seeing the number 10. So that is a significant difference. Um, but I'm also seeing like, you know, two, three years. You know, that's not really significant. So we have the king of wands. So this person, maybe this person had a wandering eye in the past. Because with aging, nothing but a, a age ain't a factor. I feel like maybe this person was an ageist, you know. Um, they were somebody who wanted to be with someone that was like, you know, 20, they had like a, a preference. So maybe they, you know, if it's a masculine, they didn't want to deal with anybody that was over, say, 35, you know, because they had some sort of, you know, faulty belief system about that. Or maybe this is someone who, um, if it's a feminine, she could have been, you know, really dealing with younger guys. She didn't want anybody her age. So she could have been dealing with some young man who was in his 20s or 30s, and maybe even 40, and she could be 50, 60. You know, whatever it is, I just get effect, uh, uh, um, a notion like it's someone who was an ageist, so they was like, you know, maybe they was looking at this from the wrong scope, you know. They was judging by the wrong, they was judging by the wrong things in life, like they was like really all over the place. But with this Four of Swords, they're getting past it, you know, because this, this right here is showing me, you know, with this um, emotional loss, I feel like they're getting past it because they're moving on. You know, it's, it's like they're moving on um, and out of this situation. Maybe whoever they were communicating with in the past, you see these gentlemen up there. It's like maybe they got distracted by taking that unsolicited advice. As I mentioned before, like when you have a bunch of people in your ear, because I was getting like the five of wands, the five of swords, you know, fives are really like competitive, um, very confusing uh, you know, even contradictory type of energy, like people just kind of distracting you off your path. And a distraction can't distract you unless you give it your attention. And so as you can see here, someone's obviously trying to distract this person who's walking up the steps. 
but he looks like he's still stepping up the steps and he'll just look and be like yeah whatever you know so whoever this was now they're trusting their own intuition because they've learned to love themselves and trust their own opinion you know when you don't listen to your intuition it's really a show um that you don't really trust yourself you know so you know you will take the advice of people outside of yourself before you you know make the decision for yourself and all you're doing is submitting your will to those individuals so that's the reason why i feel like someone had to suffer this loss because they wasn't following their own intuition and what they truly wanted to do and that's why it's up to them to heal themselves because when they heal themselves that's also going to lead to them loving themselves and this is why the fourth swords here is showing that like okay now they're moving they move there's some movement you know moving up out of you know this this negative mindset out of this place of hurt and pain you know and it definitely was you know a lot of passion maybe they were lust lusting after women or lusting after men or you know just a wandering eye not really settled down not really committed to anyone or anything in particular but i feel also there's a lot of passion that's motivating this person to move forward um that has this person really willing um, to come back, you know, to go towards someone that they feel is a wish fulfillment. Um, and I see, uh, who is this? Oh, this is Public Enemy. And this is called um, Fight the Power. So I do feel this person is fighting a greater power or some sort of, you know, dark power, dark entity. Because with that control, I keep seeing that zombie's hand sticking out of the graveyard dirt. And so I feel like, you know, this is someone who I'm hearing the term buried alive, you know, so maybe someone does have someone who did some sort of spell. And that's why the, the reading opened up with protection. Someone could have done some sort of love spell, a binding spell um, on another person. And I feel like now there's this awakening. I feel like they could have got with some sort of karmic or incubus, succubus type of energy, energy vampire even. Um, a leech, spiritual leech, parasite, and they caught a spiritually transmitted disease with this person, and that's why they had to purge, that's why they had to clean, clear, cleanse themselves, that's why they had to be grounded, balanced, and in alignment to make, you know, better decisions moving forward, because in the past, they weren't very prone to trust in their own intuition. They were being misled, they were being misguided, they were being distracted off their path, derailed even. So, that's why I feel like with this wandering, it's almost like he's scrying with the stick, almost as if to say, lead the way, lead the path. You see how he's like, you know, with the staff rather, not a stick. It's like he's scrying with that staff as to, you know, ask the staff to lead him in the right direction. And it looks like, you know, with this choose wisely, and that could be why spirit was saying say yes, because this person is doing a lot. I feel like this person is going through a lot and doing a lot to prove themselves not only to you but to you know themselves like they they have the ability to to um grow they have the ability to even confront you uh because i feel like this that is the greatest feat is to confront you is this confrontation that they're planning um and not confrontation as in a hostile confrontation but just confronting you about something that that's weighing heavy on their heart um so let's see. Let's tap in. And this um a, this King of Wands is also, like I said, you know, this is that felicious energy. Someone very passionate, you know. And remember we had ebony eyes. So this person may love your eyes, the shape of your eyes. You may have some beautiful brown eyes, maybe dark colored eyes, but they're almond shaped. Or just a very beautiful cat eye shape, chinky eyes. I'm hearing even. But this person is very passionate about you. Very, very much so. So why is, um, what is this? Oh, black cat, I'm, I'm bugging. Fortune meets opportunity, um, new beginnings, stand your ground, choose wisely and accelerated motion here for how this person feels about our beautiful Scorpios. They have a message of love and light. Why is black cat new beginning? Stand your ground, wow. They got a lot they wanna say. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, the wheel of fortune. See that? The wheel of fortune. So this person absolutely, wow, mm, mm, mm. give me one moment, let me get the, 
All right, I'm not taking any of these cards because it's way too many. I'm going to put these back. Let's do it again. Bang, bang, boogie. Thank you, spirit. Why is black hat in the beginning? Stand your ground, accelerated motion, choose wisely. Thank you, spirit. So I'll take that one. And we have the um, we have the uh, page of cups here. So there's a message of love, like I said, an apology. And look, the wheel of fortune flew right back out. This is a destiny type of love. This person sees you as destiny. They're destiny. They see you as someone that they are destined to be with. They see you as someone that is a destiny type of love. Like I said, remember we had spiritual partnership show up and I was feeling that. They feel a very sacred connection of sacred, you know, um, there's a sacredness to this, this connection that they feel that they have not felt with anyone else. Not even someone they could have been with for up to 11 years. Because 11, 11 is here. Maybe you knew this person for 11 years. Maybe this person has been in a relationship with someone for 11 years. And that's why it's become so stuck and stagnant and routine. And they both just fake and fugazi with one another. There's a lack of love. The harmony is gone. There's no commitment. They're living in a big old house. No, It's not even a home. It's a house. you know. But this person is absolutely feeling like they have an opportunity that is presenting itself again because I feel like something is turning in your favor in their favor I feel like this person definitely sees you as the yang to their yin and they will take action this is going to lead to fortune remember this says black cat fortune meets opportunity and then you got the wheel of fortune that just flew out so if that's not confirmation I don't know what is and I was saying through the whole reading I kept feeling like that that Karen Wheeler. I kept hearing Wheel of Fortune, like Wheel of Fortune. So that's powerful. So we got a Mono Mari again. Energy. This is the third song that played um, from the Yang energy. So the Divine Masculines. Y'all have some, some beautiful energy coming towards y'all. Even if you're Divine Feminine. I mean, like, this is just showing us. Double confirmation. So why is scrying, intuition, too, patience, and rejoice and celebration here for what's hidden? Thank you, Spirit. We have a message of love and light, bottom of the deck. We have the Hierophant, beloveds. So the Hierophant represents that same energy of, you know, seeking wise counsel, higher learning. This is that energy of studentship being in the, you know, presence of a master teacher, a pastor, an elder, a maternal or paternal figure. Growing and learning, becoming spiritually strong. This is powerful. The card that came out to clarify is the, this is the Knight of Pentacles. That's why patience is here. This is a destiny type of love. This also is about, you know, good things taking time to create. You know, it's like someone wants to make sure that they have an asset and not a liability because it's like they learn the hard way. So this come, this person is coming in showering you with gifts. Like very, I was picking up someone very generous, generous, and I see that, I was seeing that here, like they were being very generous, they laid all six of the pentacles down for you, where typically, you know, in the traditional, they're giving you one, um, they're giving a pentacle to one person and has their back turned to you, and in another deck, it's like they're offering three pentacles to you and they have three. So in this case, it's like they're just showering you with gifts. Like this person wants to just give to you. They just want to um, celebrate you. They just want to show you that they adore you. You know, this is adoration. This is beautiful. And look at this tower. So there's an ending. Every ending denotes a new beginning. So this lie, remember what we were saying about this home? Because I was picking up like, you know, somebody is just, you know, they both wearing a mask. They both being fake and fugazi. Just sitting here just to pay the bills. You know, very, very much um, an arrangement. It feels, you know, very forced. Doesn't feel like a lot of love. Um, but this is obviously, you know, two people who are not being their authentic selves. This ish is going to blow up in their face. Because truths are going to come to light. 
realizations are going to start happening. Someone is going to realize, like, look, I got to love me. I can't be, you know, sabotaging my happiness just to stay here and help you pay bills. So someone is having some sort of wish granted, you know, and this wish that's being granted is to be able to come back into union with someone that they love that is look at these cards i cannot make this up so this is why you know the ending but look at this beautiful new beginning this is the wish fulfillment y'all so the world card flew back out so this is absolutely someone that you are at a distance from they will travel to see you and guess what they're going to say i love you this is the ace of cups see that oh i'm party part of me this is the queen of cups so this person has come to realize that they love you. This is someone that has changed tremendously. This snake is indicative of change because it sheds its skin. So I feel this person has had to grow. They've changed a lot of their belief systems, ideologies, habits, behaviors, even the way that they were looking at you, looking at this connection, not seeing your worth and value. That's the reason why you created space. Whatever lies that they were telling to you or whatever lies or whatever um deceit that was happening it's all coming to light and i feel like it could lead to marriage between you and this person as i said if the two of you sit down and have conversations um to strengthen the connection strengthen the relationship but this person that's coming in is someone who has been growing and healing maturing and just mastering themselves as well we have Toby Nwigwi and this is I'm dope so this person realizes how dope they are that's why self-love is here so they realize they're dope they realize what did I say in the beginning to you guys you know you're miracles and you deserve the best period point blank it's your birthright to live in opulence to have happiness joy success abundance it's like it's a mindset you have to set your mind to know that you know, that's why when people call yay crazy or Dame Dash crazy, I don't say that. I feel like them, them brothers is on a completely different frequency and they have completely unlearned <laughs> and deprogrammed themselves from whatever programming was taking place. You know what I'm saying? But it takes a person that knows their capabilities to speak in that type of truth and with that type of, you know, vindiction, you know, um, um, with that type of uh with that type of indication you know what i'm saying you, you have to know it there's no thinking about oh well i think i'm okay i think i'm all right no i'm the shit that's how you got to walk through life like i am the shit what did i say earlier one cell one egg and you were amongst millions that had to make it to that egg and you were the one that made it so there's a reason why you're here there's a reason and I feel like, you know, with this person, they're coming to realize the same way you had to realize. If you are not an asset, you're a liability and you have to cut your losses or it could be a detriment to you. And if not to you monetarily, just your peace of mind, your happiness. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to watch your circles. You know, there's a lot going on in the news. And I told you on the very beginning of the month that there was going to be a lot of going, a lot going on. And I even mentioned, like, don't let people sway you into going places if you don't feel it, you know what I'm talking about? Like if you don't feel it in your gut, if you go in amongst people and you don't know what their intentions could be, I said it, a, a fight could escalate. It could escalate to a fight. And look what happened to this young sister from Charlotte. You know what I'm talking about? Like went somewhere to go on vacation, so she thought, and gets murdered by the very people that are supposed to be there to protect her and look out for her. So that's why you got to watch your circle. You got to watch who you're calling friend, who you're calling family, who you call. You got to be mindful. And if it doesn't sit right, if people hit you up and, and it doesn't sit right in your spirit, you don't do it. Period. Period. You don't owe anybody any explanations. You know what I'm talking about? But this energy right here, I just feel like someone is finally, you know, standing up for themselves for the first time. Especially with the self-love. They're finally putting them first and not someone else. Not someone else's expectations. They're doing what they know and their heart is best for them and for that they're going to be blissed with a wish fulfillment and there's a very painful ending but every ending denotes a beautiful new beginning so this queen of cups is going to absolutely help to nurture this person love this person 
care for this person, be loyal and faithful to this person to help them, you know, with their transition. But I do feel like there is a very strong level of self-mastery that you have achieved, Scorpios. And I feel, again, the teaching and learning aspect where you may have triggered your divine counterpart um, to do their work. And now they are uh, following, you know, they're following their heart. And this is why this Hierophant is here. Because they may come in and just initially, you know, extend an olive branch, apologize, um, want to communicate back and forth, you know, become, you know, become more um, friendly, you know, be more consistent with the phone calls this time around because they want to show and prove that they've changed. So the only way they could do that is by really showing you the changes with their behavior. So this time around, they're going to be very generous with, I feel, their time. Maybe even with gifts, maybe gifting you with flowers or gifting you with tickets to your favorite play or, you know, something. Just being kind and thoughtful in a way, you know what I'm saying? Because we still have some holy days coming up, you know, so, you know, there's still gift giving going on. And, um, and I just feel like this person really is wanting to display. Um, they want to show you they love you, not just tell you. Because I do feel like that's one of the things as well is they want to express this because this is something that they've been kind of holding back for a long time. But I feel they also want to shower you with this love and show you this love because I feel like their love runs over for you. And look what we got playing right now. PM Dawn, I die without you. You know, that's a bit extreme, <laughs> but this is how they feel. Like, you know, I feel like more important it's like life is not... It's not like even worth living if it's not with you. Because like I said, when you live in a house, big ass house such as this, and it just feels like a house. You know how cold that ish is? You know what I'm talking about? Like even their their body language is just like, mm. you know, they're just there. You know, so this person feels like without you, they, they could die without you. Because it's like they really truly love you. They adore you. You know, and, and it's like, what's worse than not ever expressing that to the person, you know, that you absolutely love and adore, you know, so I feel like they're going to come out of that space of being very, um, you know, stubborn, because I do feel part of it is stubbornness, but then I also feel a part of it is intimidation and fear. I feel like it's something that they have difficulty with, you know, which is expressing their feelings and emoting, you know, so. But there is a reward. I feel like there will be an, a reward, um, you know, because this person will take action in, you know, um, going after what they want. Because we do see that new beginning, right? So let's get some messages from my personal deck. And then we're going to wrap it up. I'll shay. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. We're just going to clarify these messages. Let's see what we got coming in and out and going on. Thank you, spirit. So we have Mama Oshun. Beauty, love, attraction, you sexy thang, you. So that's exactly what I was picking up. This person knows you're their wish fulfillment. That's why there's positive movement forward. They see you as someone very attractive, very powerful, you know, someone very abundant, maybe successful even. And that's why they want to come in and they want to offer you that stability, that security. Because they absolutely see you as someone that they can, you know, plant seeds and roots and build a family, a nucleus, you know, have that structure. This is building solid foundation, a strong foundation with someone that you love, having that homie lover friend, having someone that you can build and grow with. It's beautiful. They see you as very gorgeous. And that's that energy of like that empress also. All right. And we have, um, who is this right now? Who is that? And this is called the internet. And this is called hold on. So they, just like I said, somebody's been holding on to you. You know, they've been holding on to this connection because remember, we got the four of pentacles. And this is what we're about to clarify. The skull of, fly, of uh, flowers, the 74 nature, 18 shadow, this four of pentacles and the emperor. So the Four of Pentacles is like someone holding on while you're holding back. And you're holding back because you felt like this person was wearing a mask. But everything, you know, spirit is guiding them, leading them back to you. With those feathers, they're having some sort of epiphany. 
you know they was definitely operating and functioning in their shadow side so why is this flowers the skull of flowers nature shadow four of pentacles emperor here for this oh are you coming out okay i'm gonna put them back if they was gonna fall out i was gonna let them look at that secret admirer loves what they see so this person is secretly admiring you from a distance just as i said i was picking up on somebody watching you and that's just a confirmation that someone is watching you you know even if they're looking at pictures if they can't watch you maybe it is somebody in your neighborhood maybe someone that you you may frequent the same grocery store the same gym you know maybe they live in your community in your neighborhood maybe if you take nature walks or you bike or you jog you know it could be someone that passes you every day and you would never know let's see may have a message of love and light thank you spirit and so what we have is infinite possibilities Keep your head to the sky and keep trying. You got this. So this person definitely is holding on to hope. Just as I said, they're walking by faith and not by sight. So it's like this person is definitely praying and hoping that there's a transition, a change, a shift within this connection. I feel like this person has had that epiphany. So they may have realized or recognized um, that they weren't stepping it up, that they weren't um, matching your fly, your vibration. And that's why I feel like with this emperor showing up, um, right with the four of pentacles this could have been the energy they were in initially and then they transformed into that emperor energy which is going to match that divine feminine the empress's energy so it's like they see you as a wish fulfillment they know that you are the one that got away i feel like there was some sort of epiphany regardless of what they may be entangled in whether this is a karmic relationship or a relationship they was with somebody for 11 years i feel like at the end of the day they're realizing that you know, the time is up on that situation. It's reached full circle. And we have reinvent yourself, new wardrobe, haircut, hairstyle, massage, mani-pedi, um, henna tattoo. So this is about self-love, self-care. And remember, this is the emotional intelligence your person is in, along with synchronicity, five emotional loss, and four of swords. So what they're realizing is that they have to do what's, you know, what's going to be uh, inspiring and, and, um, you know, in, in, invigorating to their spirit. So whatever they were doing, it was very routine. It was like day in, day out, same thing. Almost like very, very bored, you know, very, very like, just a very lackadaisical type of energy. And I feel like, you know, they've learned something through some sort of epiphany or some sort of divine download or even just maybe a breakthrough that they've had that, you know, they have to evolve with the times. They have to grow with the times. So maybe there's been a lot of divine interventions, a lot of messages, synchronicities. Maybe they were seeing a lot of animal totems, the same animal totems, and they started to look up the spiritual meanings or maybe they was bumping in to the same numbers daily, whether they're driving on the road, they see it on the cars, or they're walking by someone's home and they see it on the door. You know, It's just like there was a lot of synchronicities, maybe even clairaudiency, uh, maybe someone was listening to a particular song and the lyrics just resonated heavily. Um, and maybe that's what led to someone beginning to heal themselves, uh, beginning to learn what their own love languages identify identify their own love language in order to be able uh, to, you know, go after whatever it is that they want. Um, but I feel definitely um, with this Four of Swords, there's been a lot of, rec you know, um, like there's been some, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, there's been like some, some rejuvenating of one's spirit. I just feel like someone's been really just like healing, recovering. And we have uh, the internet again, hold on. So they've really been holding on, you know, holding on to this connection um, with every fabric of their being. You know, they've been holding on even without the distance. Um, I mean, even with the distance, pardon me. So let's tap in. So why is this emotional intelligence, 87 um, synchronicity, five emotional loss and the four of swords here for the person Scorpio is attracting to them. They have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Why is in vampire emotional intelligence? Thank you. And it says carries you in their spirit. That's why you can't stop thinking of them and they you. Voila. Have I not said this? I told you. Remember, I only think of you on two occasions. That's day and night. This person is carrying you in their spirit. And I said that verbatim. 
even though there's no communication, even though they haven't seen you. That's why I kept feeling like this person is like, damn, the, 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 like time is just like falling from the calendar. And the more time slips away, the harder they feel it's going to be to get back in your good graces or to get back, you know what I'm saying, to, to be able to get you back. But this person absolutely carries you in the spirit and they think about your ass all the time. And that's why I was saying you may be picking up on this because you're highly intuitive. You have high cerebral, uh, cerebral energy right now. You know, not only in your season, but Scorpio is just naturally a psychic, naturally intuitive, tapped in to the frequency, beloveds. And this person knows that. And I feel like this is why some of you may be picking up on their energy, you know, heavily. Bottom of the deck, it says, have zero regrets. All the pain was worth it. And this is how they feel about you. All the pain was worth it. Why? Because you've transcended, you've grown, you've elevated, you've mastered yourself, your craft. You're on, you're on your own time right now. You're doing what you want to do. Moving to the beat of your drum. You know, and this card damn near tried to jump out and it says cowards run from a problem, not towards it. If they wanted to, they would have fought for you. That's your that that could be just your um, take on a situation. If somebody wasn't running towards you and they was running from you, then, you know, that's their loss. That's their L. You know, you don't got time to chase nobody anyway, especially if you're an empress or an emperor. They don't chase. They attract. So you got to know your worth and value. But with this have zero regrets, I feel like you, that's what you've had to, you know, that's how you stepped into your power, to be honest with you. You know, because if you sitting around, like I said earlier, and you waiting on an apology, well then, beloved, you the, the healing isn't done. You know, there's still some work to do because you shouldn't be waiting on nothing. You know, you should always be building, always be working on yourself. And forgiveness is for you. It is not for anyone else. Because people could use an apology you know, it's some sort of of um, exploitive way to, to, to keep you dangling along. It could be a very manipulative game. Just say things they think you want to hear, but still, still, you know, still be the same person. You don't want an apology from somebody who just want to turn around and do the same shit again next week. You want an apology when they really mean it. And they can't mean it unless they heal and learn why it was wrong to begin with. Whatever it may be, you know what I'm talking about? Like you want someone to genuinely feel, you know, that sense of um, empathy or feel that that uh, that remorse because they've they could see things genuine, like from your perspectives, like, oh, snap, I see what it feels like. I know what they what I put them through. I apologize. You want it to come from that place and from that space, not just. Well, let me apologize because you want me to apologize. That's not authentic. Keep your apology if you're coming to me with that energy. You know what I'm saying? Don't just come and say, yo, I apologize. Because my next question is like, what are you apologizing for? Because I want to know and understand. And I want to, more importantly, see if you even know why you're apologizing. Don't apologize to me just because it sounds good or it comes off good. Like, nah, I, I, why are you apologizing? We we gotta we gotta sit down and have this this dialogue. Like, why do you apologize? I'm never gonna just accept a blanketed apology, and neither should you. And neither should you just be sitting around waiting for some someone to apologize. Sometimes in life, most times in life, you're gonna have to accept apologies that you never received, whether that be from parents that could have abandoned you, abused you, neglected you, mistreated you. They may never grow up. What are you gonna do? Hate your parents all your life? Or are you going to say, you know what, I forgive my parents and I'm going to break the cycle and I'm not going to pass on to my children what my parents did. Through the forgiveness is how you heal the legacy, the bloodline. That's how you heal. Through you doing again to your parent what they did to you, you're perpetuating it. And guess what you're doing? You're teaching your children to do the same with theirs and how to, how to respond. It's like, nah, forgiveness. Heal that shit. Healing. Everything required. You have to heal it. I'm not saying you got. You have to continue being mistreated. Of course, you establish boundaries, but forgiveness is for you, beloved. You have to forgive. You can't hold on to that shit. That I'm telling you, that ish eats you alive from the inside out. It will eat you alive. You'll start wearing the stress on your face. You'll start feeling all of the dis-ease and sickness and all of that because you're carrying out all that hatred and contempt and anger. That shit eats you alive. That shit can, it literally is the, you know, it causes 
death stress is the first is like one of the number one leading of you know causes of death is stress so why allow yourselves to be stressed out over somebody not saying you know two words i'm sorry it's like say sorry for them you could sit in the mirror and and do the whole apology speech to yourself you know what i'm talking about and, and keep it pushing and live a fruitful life but i digress so have zero regrets beloved all right have zero regrets. You wouldn't be who you are if it weren't for that experience. You wouldn't be who you are if it weren't for that person that taught you the lessons that you now know. You would not have learned those lessons without that person. So they paid. They played a key role in your life. They were there for a reason. Maybe even a season. All right. So I digress. So why is um black cat new beginning stand your ground accelerated motion choose wisely. Thank you, spirit. Look at this. Flighty ins and outs. Impulsive, unreliable. That's why spirit is saying, choose wisely. If somebody comes back with this type of energy, this is what you have to do. Choose wisely. Because if somebody was definitely on some, you know, playing games, manipulating your energy, maybe this is why the wheel is here. Because there's a turning point. Whatever was being blocked and delayed, somebody could have been flighty in and out because they were still tied to someone and feeling obligated because there was some sort of arrangement. We have jealousy as a sickness, hater alert, stalker alert. So now it's getting really interesting because what I'm feeling is someone definitely was still dealing with with some sort of karmic who could have learned about a Scorpio. And so this is what they're doing. They're now stalking you. They're now watching you. This is why the person that you could have been um, dealing with or someone you was um, developing some sort of connection with, they could have been real flighty in and out because maybe this person learned of you and maybe what they were doing was they was demanding more of that person's time just so they couldn't, you know, um, circulate that time utilize that time with you you know what i'm talking about so with this flighty uh choose or this choose wisely i feel like you all chose yourselves i also feel like someone could be um feeling like that's how you feel about them is that they're like impulsive and unreliable let me get one more message let me get one more message why is this black cat new beginning stand your ground because stand your ground is there that means you are not you are not with the shits. You're protecting your energy by any means. So we got a couple of cards here. And we have Gangstar. And it says above the clouds. And remember that card I showed you where the um, feminine energy was like standing. It said suffering in silence. And she was like up on the peak of the mountain. And then underneath her was like clouds. And I was saying someone has literally like come from a very... Uh, confused space. I'm trying to find the card now just so I could give you a visual as I'm explaining it. But it's like, you know, someone is um, finally seeing the light, seeing something clearly. They're no longer confused. That there was a point in time where there was confusion, a lack of clarity. Where's this card? It can't be that far. Oh, there it is. So the name of the song by Gangstar Rising Power King is above the clouds and if you look here on the on the card down here is all clouds so this feminine energy is like above the clouds so that means that she has a lot of clarity so spirit is telling you use your intuition ashe all right this is getting very interesting so how they see you, this is what they see. It says, do something for yourself. So they may see you as someone very selfish. They may see you as someone taking care of you. They also see you as with dream catcher, says nightmares, witching hours, protection needed, as a batchy ward off to any demonic energies. So they see you as someone very guarded, very protective. Maybe they see you as someone who is, um, you're, not, you're not necessarily um, open to new people. Uh, because, you know, maybe you have some, you know, maybe you have some sort of uh, opinions about certain individuals, like you're very guarded. They just feel you're very guarded, you know. Um, with this on the bottom of the deck, this is how I feel like they, the true heart of the matter is like they, they really feel you're regal. You know, there's just levels and you su supersede them and it says you're a diamond in the rough. But these cards here. If you all are waking up during witching hours, it could be because you have a crazy 
stalker karmic, you know, that's attached to this person that could be doing this to you. They definitely see you as single, independent with this do something for yourself card. And it says, you know, watch a sunset, take a, a drive, you know, purchase some lingerie, some boxers, piece of jewelry, love on you. So they see you as single, independent, self-sufficient, you know, self-reliant even, um, very grounded, very successful in whatever it is you do. But they also see you as very regal. And remember, I told you that good things take time to create. So this is taking time because I feel like, you know, there's someone behind the scenes. With this Azabachi, ward off any dark, uh, um, it says demonic energy. And then dream catcher, nightmares, witching hours, protection needed, flighty ins and out. This person is really feeling like you're very guarded. Like you're not letting anyone in. Maybe they see you, um, maybe they feel like you see them as an enemy. Or you see them as someone that's coming to bring some sort of negative energy or drama. But what they really truly feel, I feel, is like regal royal. Maybe this is spirit telling you um, you're royalty. So don't, you know, don't just stoop to anyone's level. Don't just, um, you know, don't just be all accepting of people. You know what I'm saying? You got to know your worth and your value. So don't, like, sell yourself short either. Um, we have J. Cole, apparently. So let's tap in. It's very interesting how they see you. I damn near want to get some more cards. But with that regal royal, I feel like that's ultimately how they feel about you. But this is just to me just saying like you're very, very protected. I feel like they could be having nightmares about you, you know. You know, they could feel like you because they're thinking about you so much. You know what I'm saying? That you could have done something to them perhaps. Like you've done some sort of love spells. But with this flighty in and out, they I feel like they just feel you're super protected. You know, with your energy, like you, you may feel like they, they don't have nothing good to offer. You're being very selfish. You're loving yourself. So why is this intuition, patience, three, rejoice and celebrate, and the number, I mean, and the Knight of Pentacles here for what's hidden in the energy? And it says, be thankful. You fell down, but you got up. So this person is definitely very thankful. They're in the attitude of gratitude because it's almost like they have some moment to celebrate, to rejoice. And I feel like it's because, you know, they got out of a situation that felt very, very like stuck and stagnant. It just is like, you know, it's like that saying, whatever isn't growing, it's dead. And I feel like the situation has been dead, stinking and buried for a long time. But this person got up and got up out and they're very humble and very thankful. It says crying is a form of power. Allow yourself to feel and release what no longer speaks to your soul. So this person may have been one of those per people who didn't cry. They looked at crying as a form of weakness. Um, but instead, this is a form of power because you're getting all of that energy, that stress, that toxic, um, all those toxins out of your body. It's a way to allow yourself to feel those emotions and to get it out, you know, to release it. So it's really important to purge um, in that way through crying, um, even through, you know, taking spiritual baths, cleansing yourselves with smudge sticks like Palo Santo and Sage. And, you know, so it's important. It's an important release. Um, so this is, I feel like, what someone is finally able to do. Uh, because they've had some sort of epiphany. We see that they're working on themselves. So this is powerful. So why is um, trick or treat? 61 self-love. Wish fulfillment. The tower. The world. And the ace. Or the queen of cups here. For my beautiful Scorpios. And we're going to wrap it up. I have a message of love. Okay. These two are in my hand. So it says thunder clapping. Be prepared. And it says you are uniquely made beautiful soul so this definitely makes sense because if you look at the tower card there's a lot of thunder clapping and lightning striking and so this is speaking to some sort of ending but this is also someone realizing how beautifully made and uniquely made they are so this is beautiful energy right here with that tower showing up is showing that you know there's a cleansing that's taking place um there's even a healing that's going to um, follow, you know, uh, so someone had to go through some sort of painful loss 
in order to have this awakening, in order to reach this level of self-mastery. And I feel like there's going to be uh, what I feel is a, a completion of a cycle, but also I feel like something's coming full circle. Someone is finally going to uh, shed themselves of perhaps maybe, you know, some sort of stubborn belief system or some thick headedness uh, with this gentleman, this man above the clouds. Um, I just feel like that's clarity. That's wise dome, um, no longer being fooled or tricked. Um, and someone realizing how beautifully, uniquely radiant you are, regal you are. And that's what they're coming after. So the ending, the new beginning. And I feel this travel. Um, witching hours, 3 to 5 a.m., stay protected. Protect your energy because you could have some sort of high priestess witch, uh, some practitioner doing some spells. To, because as I said, I was feeling like someone was burying someone's belongings or personal belongings um, to intensify some sort of spell, doing candle magic even. So just protect yourselves because this is like, look at this. We got Judas upside down. So perhaps someone who's deceitful or a liar, you know, maybe someone is like turning themselves around and look again we have this uh emotional roller coaster ride time to get off and we also have look at all these cards everything i said this is crazy we have emotional ro roller coaster ride time to get off so someone is making a decision to leave someone or something behind and look at the single white black female um wants your life jealous envious sneaky and a hater so be careful because some of you all got some folks around y'all that are snakes that are slithering around you. And, you know, someone is trying to sabotage someone's, you know, someone's um, completion of their cycle. That's I'm getting a snake here trying to interfere with someone like wrapping up a cycle. But we also have this accept the apology you never received and take your power back now. So someone, I feel... Could be coming back and spirit is saying choose wisely because maybe this is someone that could be obsessed with your ass because these cards right here are not good cards and i was at first feeling like this could have been like their karmic someone they're entangled with um but now i'm picking up on the fact that with this energy it says accept the apology you never received and take your power back now and with this emotional roller coaster ride and witching hours someone you could have some folks coming back that you will have to trust your intuition some of you all have a true twin flame soulmate that could be coming toward you and others of you could have someone who could be um like an op you know they're just coming back to see how far they can get with you this is someone that likes to play games they come in just to kind of see where you at gauge where you at you know, they kind of like smile and beguile, try to sound like they've changed, try to act like they've changed. But you have to pay attention to action. That's only the form. That's the only form of change you should be paying attention to is the behavior. Has the behavior changed? If the answer is no, they haven't changed. Keep it pushing. The spirit is telling you to love you. You don't owe anybody shit. You've been doing a lot for everyone. Now it's time for you to do for yourself. So Definitely don't feel obligated. Don't go back into that trap of feeling like you got to go above and beyond to appease and please anybody. Take care of you. Love on you. Protect you. Do for you. As a batchy water of demons, you need to wear your protective jewelry. As a batchy, this is a very protective jet. It's jet. It's a, a, a very, um, it's a natural, um, how do you say that? It's a natural element. It grows in Africa, but it's a very protective, um, it's a protective um, stone, if you want to call it that. And it wards off demonic ent entities. So if you burn it, whatever smoke emits, it rids yourself. My left ear is ringing like crazy right now. Soon as I said that, my left ear started ringing like crazy. So be mindful because you got some people gossiping and watching you. And it's these mofos that are freaking obsessed with your life they're obsessed with you so be mindful they're jealous whatever reason they're jealous and we see the reason because you completely have transformed uh contrary to what they believed contrary to what they tried to do it's like you still rose that's why spirit is like wish fulfillment positive movement for it manifesting your dreams you also had that card 
that said you're protected, so you needn't worry, but spirit is also telling you protect yourselves as well, especially at night. If some of you are waking up during witching hours, it's because someone is manipulating your energy. If you're waking up during these hours, because this is the second time this came up, like dream catcher, nightmares, witching hours, protection needed, this is like being reiterated. So some of you all, if this applies, spirit is telling you, watch out. There's a liar, there's a Judas, there's a snake, there's a thief, there's a master manipulator. There's someone that's very, very calculating that is around you. And you need to ward that energy off. I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just trying to prepare you. So you need to, A, I'm hearing spiritual bath. You also need to, B, make sure to protect your home. So you need to cleanse your home. You need to get rid of old shit. You need to throw away things. You need to sweep your floors, mop your floors, wash your walls, your windows, get rid of things you don't use, clean your closets, get rid of dust. Dust is accumulation of energy as well. So dust your homes, get rid of anything that could be um, just dormant. Dormant energy needs to be released and you need to get rid of it. Um, every time you go outside and you're amongst people, Energy can attach itself to you. That's why it's important to wear protective jewelry, amulets, and, and, and things of that nature. So some of you all need to do that. Take a spiritual bath. Do egg cleanses. You know, definitely do one before the close of the year so you're not bringing ish into the new year. You know what I'm talking about? But protect your energy because these are some heavy energy, some heavy cards. And I feel like for some of you, you have like a narcissist, you know, you may have a narcissist or you may have someone who has um, misdirected their anger onto you. Like you've become public enemy number one. You know what I'm saying? Because we had public enemy playing earlier and um, I believe it was, um, was it fight the power? I forgot who it was. All I know is public enemy played earlier. And with public enemy, you, you've become public enemy number one. And it's because this person has made you their competition. It's like they look at you as their competition. And you're not anyone's competition but your own. And I put all these cards here and these cards don't even go there. But this is someone that's definitely like... There, there's someone obsessed. I feel obsession. I feel like a devil energy here. I almost want to... You know what? Damn, this is almost three hours. All right, beloveds. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm not going to hold you for another ten minutes, even though I could. Because <laughs> I'm just, like, curious as to know... All right, I'm going to pull another deck, and I'm going to pull it from the dark grimoire. And then we're going to wrap it up. Now, Shay. So let's see what we got. So, Eve, look at this. All the cards are facing this way except for this one. So I want to see what this is. And this is the Four of Pentacles. And I'm hearing mum's the word. You see how his mouth is like sewed shut? So it's almost as if someone is under some spell. Like they can't speak. It's like they hold on to you, dear. And look at that chalice sitting right next to his, his um, nightstand. So it's like this person is still holds love for you. They, they're learning something. But it's almost like they can't speak. Look at these two entities in the back. Some sort of demonic entities. Spirits. Let me get a message. I'm going to clarify this. See what's coming in. This is some dark energy. So I said, let me pull out the dark grimoire to come clarify. The divine spirit of love and light. What's coming in, going out, going on. Why is do something for yourself? Single black female flighty. Ins and out. Emotional roller coaster ride. And um, dream catcher. That was another card that was there. Here for how this person feels about our beautiful Scorpios. And we have a message of love and of light. And I'm just clarifying this one deck. Because all these other cards. They're not as dark as this. So I want to pull dark grimoire. To clarify why this energy is so dark. Because out of all of those cards. That's like literally two decks together. You know. This is two decks together and all of those cards, those negative cards jumped out. So we want to find out why. And I see why. Because you, you got a fiery, impenetrable wall of protection around you. This is the nine of wands. You're standing your ground. You're not letting one in, anyone in because you've already given people chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity, and they just only disappointed you. And that's why Spirit is saying, look, choose wisely. Because you may have some scragglers, you may have some folks trying to double back, 
because they realizing the grass wasn't greener or because they realizing whoever they may have dissed you for wasn't worth the spit. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. And this is the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is here. So this is definitely giving me... Oh, man, because I see a cauldron. I see a ceremony. The three. Threes are associated with, you know, the Ascended Masters. As I was picking up, today is 2-2-2-2-2-2, two, 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 which breaks down to 12. That's three. So this is a very powerful day. And I feel like it's also planning and preparing. Someone could be planning and preparing, strategizing. Because you see how these two people are watching you know, they're kind of watching up. Nobody knows they're there, but they're like watching a ceremony. So I was picking up like someone watching. Maybe this is like that intuition, that gut instinct. And we have the uh, King of Wands here. So this could be that person that was very like impulsive. Remember the King of Wands could be very impulsive, flighty. You know, someone that's not committed. And remember, we saw that King of Wands when we was pulling the cards, um, the African-American Tarot. So that could be that person. This could be someone scorned. I heard the word scorned. So somebody is very calculating. I feel like this is somebody calculating. And that's why Spirit is saying choose wisely because there's going to be options. So you have one option that's coming in that carries you in their spirit. They feel you're their wish fulfillment. They're into their game. But then you have somebody else that can be a distraction. And that's why Spirit is saying there's going to be a choice. And the choice is you could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this so you could get with that. I think you go with this because this is where it's at. So whoever comes in and their spirit and energy... Matches your flying vibration. That's what you're rocking with. And you're going to stand your ground. I don't feel like you're going to fall for any okie dokes. I don't feel like you are going to fall victim to any of this. That's why protection showed up. Because spirit already sees what's going on. Spirit already knows somebody is being very calculating. And being very cunning. And being very negative. Or just being very juvenile. You know. Very scorned and vindictive. But whoever this is. I definitely feel this is someone that got... Like, they got a bone to pick with you. I feel like they got a bone to pick with you. I feel like they're very disgruntled. They're not used to, I'm hearing, they're not used to hearing no. They're not used to being rejected. I feel like you chose yourself. Because what I'm seeing off the rip was, I saw this one and the seven. You know, and that's eight. And this is all about, like, that eight of cups energy. Like walking away, that's what really, you know, self-love, self-care is all about. You know, when you walk away from something, that's literally like you saying, I love me more than to sit here and deal with the bare minimums that you're providing. Or the lack thereof that you're not providing, I should say. So it's like, yeah, you, you definitely walked away from somebody. And now this same somebody that could have done you dirty is wanting to return. But they're returning with the same damn energy. Same energy. And so spirit is saying you're going to attract what you are. So in other words, you got to know your worth. So you're going to put up with the same issue you just grew from. Because that's why you went through the whole journey to begin with. Was so that you could, you know, master yourself. You've learned your, 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 your lesson, beloved. You don't want to repeat cycles. This person may be trying to get you to repeat a cycle all over again. But you have choices, which means there's two different people. It could be more. But I definitely feel there's someone that is a wish fulfillment and another person that could be a distraction. And that's why you are super guarded. And you ain't falling for the okie doke because you're standing your ground. This is a victorious stance at that. You mean what you're saying. You're saying what you mean. But this is your reading, beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping into the channel. I hope that you enjoy this deep dive. This is absolutely the longest reading that I've ever done. Two minutes, I mean two hours and 57 minutes and counting. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, provide you a, a very, um, a very detailed message because I have not been uploading as frequently 
uh, you know, or as consistently. A lot of life is going on right now. My son is in school. Um, you know, I'm working um, a couple of different projects right now. So there's a lot on my plate. I'm planning relocation next year. So there's a lot going on. Um, so I send, you know, my apologies ahead of time. But I hope you enjoy this, this, this long read. You know, maybe you could listen while you work out or take a walk or take a long drive, whatever it is. I send you love and light. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. If you found that the reading resonated, don't be shy. Please hit that like button. Uh, get the video into the algorithms. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. And if you feel my energy vibes with yours, if the reading resonated at all, definitely um, subscribe to the channel, become a member of the Soul Tribe. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, you already know what it is, beloveds, that are returning. Love is love is love. Until next time, big fat ashe, peace.